All right. Stream has now officially started. I have no cup of water with me. So if I end up dying, that's going to suck. All right. Make sure my microphone isn't muted. Because I'll cry if it is. Make sure my dogs are all settled and quiet. That they're not going to start barking and crying. Make sure the game's up. Make sure everything's going good. Audio? Audio seems good. Audio seems good. I actually lowered it from last time because it seemed a little bit loud in the playback when I looked back on it. And I should up my voice because I'm pretty quiet. You know, I'll just get a little bit closer to my mic. I hope that won't. Hoping I'll blow out the audio doing that shit. All right. I I instinctively grabbed my mouse like I was about to play the game with my fucking mouse. Okay, folklore. We returned with more of this game. First things first, as always. My air conditioner is on, so if you hear that in the background, I apologize. Right. Despite the fact that we just got into... It's officially fall time now, but despite that, it's still pretty hot outside. Um, another thing is, unfortunately, my sister didn't put her child to bed. Yes, I know it's like 2 o'clock in the morning, at least on the East Coast. No, they are not responsible people. Anyways, so, there might, might be a roll of the dice tonight. Oh, what the fuck was that noise? Did you guys hear that? Oh my god. <laughs> Sounded like static for a moment. What the hell was that? Alright, but as I was saying, um, if you guys hear what sounds like a child being murdered in the background, I assure you he's not. And I assure you, he's probably throwing a tantrum for very little, for, for no reason whatsoever, actually. Other than that, welcome back to more folklore. Where we last left off, I... Wow. We did chapter one for Ellen, which was actually longer than I thought it would be. Um, We're on chapter one right now for Keats. We beat the folklore on Ellen's side. We need to go and grab some folks for us. For, uh, for Keats, because he doesn't have that many. Actually, we're missing like one or two. So, shouldn't be that bad. Uh, what else? Ooh, I don't have any of these guys. Set you to circle. And then I'll set you to triangle. Um, what else is there? We did two, uh, we did two of the side quests. And I think that's about it. We met someone. I forgot her name already. We met someone that Keats uh, met up with. Yeah, we met someone that we met up with. That's that's English. Um, is this towards the folk folklore? I think this might be towards the folklore. Oh, the hell are these guys doing? Alright, it's only been, it's only been like a couple of hours, right? Not a couple of hours, but it's only been like a, pretty much a day since I played, so let's hope I didn't get rusty already. Oh, I remember now. Oops, wrong button. I want you here, because you have a pretty good ability, actually. You can just charge right through these guys. Especially when they line up like that. All right. That helps a lot, actually. That's such a pretty, that's a good ass ability. I like that, honestly. Straight line. Alright. 
Is this supposed to be like fire? What is this? Well, I don't have anyone that uses fire. Not to my knowledge. This one's kind of red, I guess. Well, it's purple. But maybe it might work. I'm not sure. Nope. Huh. What about you? I highly doubt this will work, but, you know. Come on, game. You can register it. Did I just crash the game? Oh my god. I thought I crashed the game for a moment there. Would have scared the shit out of me. Hmm. Wow, that is... Well, that's interesting. Shit. I don't have no one to break that with. I guess I gotta look for the, the dude that's in the picture book, right? Because I don't even have that guy. I'm supposed to have, like, some type of flying dude or something. Let's see if I can go look for that. After I break these. Hmm. This is blocked off, so I guess they... I guess... I guess the game wants me to go look for the... For the folk that I'm supposed to have. Right? I assume. I assume I'm supposed to have it. Uh, console the book again. Let's see that. Alright. Alright. Yeah, wherever the hell this thing is, that's setting shit on fire, I don't have that, so... And I need it for the boss, it seems. Alright. Well, let's go look for that. Let me see what you have to say, actually. Alright, I'll tell you. Folklore, Pokey Festival. The Pokies often hold festivals up ahead. Twelve Pokies stands together, celebrate, and bury treasures. You should have a look. Audience Hall, Fairy Lord's Hall. The Fairy Lord has a room made to summon the dead. After all, it's sometimes it's sometimes difficult to find the dead in the vast netherworld. Normally, only messengers who are on quest who eh, who are on a quest. I fucking slur my words sometimes. I hate it. I wish I could like fix myself out of that. Normally only messengers who are on a quest uh, of the living can use it. Fairy Lord's Hall. Someone likely, uh, someone likely you had, wow. Someone like you, why the fuck did I say likely? Someone like you has no chance of gaining an audience in the Hall of the Fairy Lord. Alright, then why? Because I'm a dude? Does the Fairy Lord not want to speak to dudes? That's kind of creepy. When you think about it. He's like, I only speak to women. Like, well, okay. Like, okay, guy. That was a bad idea. Wasn't, wasn't the best idea. God damn it. Alright, motherfucker. Wanna play that way? We'll play that way. It's fine. Are you kidding me? He blocks all that. Oh, here we go. So it's like different elemental abilities, right? Did I just kill it? I might have killed it. Nope, it's it's still it's still alive. It seems alive at least. Come on, buddy. Come on. It sucks that I only have like one folklore. Well, I'm supposed to be having the fire guy with me, so. God. There we go. bad at all.
What the hell is this? Is this supposed to be fire as well? I guess so. Maybe it's just like the coloration is different because it's in a bush or something. I'm liking a really fucking super coat. Oh. oh, okay. This is blocked up for me. What the hell is that thing? Is that what I'm supposed to be having? I can't get past this because they're blocking my way. Alright, you. I'm not fighting you. I'm just going to let you live your life. How about that? Is this where I came from before? I'm not sure. I think that's where I came from before. So I'm going to go this way. Let's see. Nope. This is where I came from before. Every, every fucking where looks kind of samey. Oh my god, there's the child. I hear him now. Screaming his lungs off for some reason. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm professional, I promise. Alright. So what's this way? Did I even come this way before? Get you out the way. Oh shit. That guy took a lot of goddamn hits for no reason. Alright. Ah, there you are. I forgot how I'm supposed to be getting you. Alright. A hanky punk. What the hell? Oops. A hanky punk. Short range fire element combo. Press rapidly for combo attacks with shooting flames. Oh, okay. I guess I will replace... Hmm. I guess I'll replace the, um... For right now, let's replace that. Where does this lead to? Hmm. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. Oops. Well, let me absorb you first. Dodge the side. Go after you next. Ow. It goes in a circle. Okay. And apparently the fire is your weakness, I guess because it burns off all your fur or some shit.
All right. Got a little too close there for comfort. There we go. I wonder if, if the more I level up, if uh, I can get this meter to fill up faster. Because it will most certainly help out a lot. Alright. I believe this is some health, right? I can use that. And there's a fire thing over here. Over here. Here we go. And that's just health. Alright, I thought that would be like... A cloak, or like a fucking picture book, or some bullshit. Alright. I'm assuming it's time to face folklore. And they said I can't get a audience with the fairy lord, but it's worth a try, right? If you defeat the folklore up ahead, you can see the memory of the dead. You're in for a surprise, though. If you value your life, return to your world. Why are you fairies, like, kind of mean towards me? <laughs> the Hall of the Fairy Lord lies beyond. No outsider may be granted an audience. How am I the outsider? Isn't Keith supposed to be Elena's guardian? Isn't that what the, uh, what Belgi said? Belgi? Belgay? Whatever his name is. Mr. Phantom Man? Phantom of the Opera? He's like, she needs a guardian, right? And I'm supposed to be the guardian. Alright. I have no idea why I pressed that button, but I did. Um... Yes. Actually, no. Actually, yeah, it's fine. It should be fine. Let me get rid of you guys. God, look at me kill the frame rate. Come on, get the other two. Well, the other three. Shit. I was too slow. There we go. One, two, three, four. One, two. And then there was one left. There we go. What's this? An emerald. What the hell am I using all these, like, emeralds and ores for? I have yet to use them on anything. And I highly doubt that this game has, like, a crafting system or, like, upgrade system. Well, I mean, it does have an upgrade system with the, uh, with the karmas, right? So it's the same boss. Alright. So they both fight the same boss, but kind of in a different way, I guess. But not really all that different. So I need to punch it in the mouth, apparently. Dickhead. Give me a little bit more of a warning.
Oh shit, I see it. There you go. Okay, is that it? Was that it for the <laughs> for the fight? Really? That's his first phase for Keats? That's kind of lame. I'm not gonna lie. Like, um, like Ellen's version of the fight was a little bit more involved, right? And now I just gotta beat the shit out of a flower. Just gotta burn it. Ouch. Ow! Piece of shit. I gotta get up there, though. Or not. Can I just hit it from down here? Nope, I have to get up there. How the fuck do I... I'm just burning this damn thing alive. Wait for my magic to come back. There we go. Oh, there we go. Fire is not helping the frame rate right now. I'll tell you that for sure. Oh shit, I fucked that up. How'd I miss that one? Fucking all the bright lights are starting to hurt my eyes a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, about like two more. It should be over with. One. And there we go. Alright. That wasn't too difficult. Fucking legs are starting to fall asleep. I gotta switch up my sitting position. Hello, chick. Wait, what? Wait, how? What? What the fuck just happened in my mind for a moment? Oh my god, that's not even close to what he said. Hello, chick. Why the fuck did I say that? How chic. <laughs> chic? Cliche? So who are, who's he going to meet up with? Is this the pub? Nice nap. Ha! Oh no. Get lost, chap. I'm busy. Oh, give me a chance. And I may even write you up in the magazine. Blimey. There are two things that I'm wondering about. One, what's the village pub doing here? And two, can I really meet the dead? Oh, this. It's all borrowed imagery. If you must meet the dead, might as well do it in comfort. So shut up and say thanks. Looks like the dead woman Regine has dropped in. See the rest for yourself. Okay. Why is everyone such an asshole to Keats? It's like, oh, hi, Ellen. 
the girl who's like trying to get uh who someone's trying to murder <laughs> everyone's like nice to her and they meet keats and they're like oh it's a guy fucking be a dickhead to him looks like we can t look like we can talk today did you tell everyone you called ellen to the cliff no so i still don't know who the mystery caller was well never mind that this is a photo of your family isn't it oh ronaldo harvey suzette was still in my womb at the time Something happened after this. Something that tore apart your family. What was it? That's right. My husband told me to leave town. To protect Suzette. So I left. But then you just end up beating the shit out of her. Because you went crazy or something, right? But in the end, I was unable to do anything for her. So yeah, you were able to give her a black eye or two. Is there anything you'd like me to tell her for you? Tell her... I just wanted her to live her life and be happy. But you didn't let her live her life. You don't seem the type to abandon your family. What happened that changed you? At church, my son, Harvey. What happened at church? The fly he was touched by the Lord. Oh Lord, have mercy. Are you gonna are you gonna tell me what the fuck happened to your son? Really? I'm just gonna end it right there. Just be like, he was killed or something. Hmm, what the? This is her true form, huh? That's right. It's called, uh, I still don't know how to fucking say that word. Minmose? Min, min, I don't fucking know. It's a bug. A folk that feeds on the memories of the dead. Wretched little rats, but it should come in handy. Who else can show you the secrets of the dead? Impossible. Revenge is near? What? Okay. Well, that's interesting. What did you say? Ryan, are you certain? It's the truth. That night at the church. No. It can't be. Harvey. Hervey. I keep saying Harvey. It's probably Hervey. That's probably how you pronounce his name, but I'm doing Harvey. First Harvey and now Renal uh, Ronaldo. It's her. She did it. My beloved daughter, Ellen. Wait, what? Forgive me for being absent from your life. Oh, she's... Oh, she's writing the note. I wait you November 2nd on the cliff of seed in Dooland. Finally, revenge. Oh, shit. <laughs> Harvey is her son. Ronaldo, her husband. 17 years ago, she lost them both. What happened at that church 17 years ago? And how does Ellen fit into it all? This village is, has quite a past. What does she do? She like summon the dead? They do like a seance or some shit? How you doing, Belge? Did you discover anything useful? So the dead are dead. They don't live on, so to speak, in the netherworld, do they? Precisely. Because they are dead, they do not think as humans do. Then what the fuck? The fuck does that make you? Because you're half dead, half alive. First of all, how the fuck does that even make sense? I'm half dead and half alive. Like, what? Then what the hell is the definition of dead and alive? Picture them as both embers of memories. If you still seek out the dead, another netherworld door may open. You mean there are more realms? As many as stars in the sky. Okay, Kingdom Hearts. All right. If you do seek out more dead, another netherworld door should open. All you have to do is find another memento of the dead. And so I bid you adieu. Until we meet next. Until we next meet. Yeah, can't wait. I better go see Suzette. 
Alright. Well, that's interesting. I love it when a good plan comes together. Alright. Back to Dooland. as I crack my knuckles directly into the microphone. Alright. So I guess I'm going to see Suzette now. I highly doubt that Suzette would really, like, know much. Right? This game is starting to grow on me. All day I was just waiting to play this game. Alright, Suzette, tell me your secrets. All of your secrets. Spill it. I've uncovered more information. Something very traumatic happened to your parents at the church 17 years ago. It seems it may have something to do with the boy in the photo, Harvey. Soon afterwards, your father, Ronaldo, died. I still haven't found out what exactly happened. But whatever it was, it seems to be the reason why your mother changed. Whether or not you choose to believe me, it's up to you. Someone else was nosing around, too. I know why my mother hates me. She left town by herself 17 years ago because she was pregnant with me. My father, who she left behind, died. Deep down, my mother always blamed me for what happened. So, that's the scoop, huh? Looks like someone beat me to the story. But I want to know more about what happened to my family. I'm also curious to learn what could have possibly changed a family so. Oh, Regine wanted me to tell you something. She says she wants you to live your life and be happy. Huh. I guess that ends his chapter, right? Oh. So it's nighttime now. I guess I'll head back to the to the pub then. Maybe look for a new memento. Memento was a good movie. So Ellen looked into what happened 17 years ago. Perhaps in another world. Alright. What's going on here? And who the hell are you? Hmm. Oh, shit. Now the Bayonetta shit starts. Nothing there. Oh, wow. Spooked by shadows. Our hero frightened at bumps in... Wait. Our hero frightened at bumps in midnight. Heh. <laughs> I'm like a child scared of the dark. Next thing you know, I'll be seeing ghosts. What I should be seeing is a doctor. I could go be... I could be going mad. Next thing you know, I'll be seeing ghosts instead of traveling to different realms and talking with the dead. I mean, I guess that's supposed to be like a joke in itself, because he's already seeing ghosts. Alright. So let's go back to Ellen. Ellen traveled into the fairy realm to discover the secret of her past. The family bond that she discovered brings Suzette to tears. Aw, 
onward to the next realm. Fairy realm was pretty beautiful, nice and colorful. I liked it. Chapter 2 Only One Wish. 17 years ago, something happened at the church that shattered Suzette's family, and I think it has something to do with my past. Suzette's father heard about the incident at the church from the lighthouse keeper, Ryan. I wonder if Ryan is still in the village. Well, let's go check, right? After my extensive exploring yesterday, I firmly remember that the lighthouse is this way. I really hope it is this way, because it might not be. I think that might actually be the cliffside. The lighthouse is this way. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> A little bit of yawn there. I woke up like about like an hour or two ago. My housekeeper's home. Ah, yes, Bioshock. There's always a lighthouse. Okay, let's see. Is he in here? I guess not. Maybe he's at the lighthouse itself? I'm getting a lot of, uh, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting the feeling of, like, a little bit of, like, deadly premonition. I'm liking it. Oh, I can't go nowhere. Alright, then where the fuck is Ryan? If he's not, if he's the lighthouse keeper and he's not in the lighthouse keeper's home, maybe he's at the, maybe he's at the bar? I would, I would... I wouldn't expect him to be at the bar. The bar's like closed during the daytime. One would assume that the lighthouse keeper would be, you know, in the lighthouse keeper's home. But he's not, so. So I guess fuck my life for using logic. Hey, barkeep. You should know everything that goes on in this town. Where the hell's Ryan? Ryan, the lighthouse keeper? Yeah, he was a good friend. Was an army mate, you know? One of the good ones. Is he dead? But he was murdered. Oh shit, found dead in the graveyard. It really got resolved either. I think Harriet was involved in it somehow. She's a bad seed, that woman. You should try to get to the, uh, you should try to get the truth out of her. And if you talk to her already, try going to the lighthouse keeper's hut too. Shit, I didn't think he would be dead. Wait, so everyone tied to like Suzette's family thing, so far that we know of, is dead besides Suzette. Does that mean Suzette's possibly in danger? Possibly. Alright. Hey, I remember you. I talked to you last time. Is that why you're in mourning? Because you killed someone? Was he your husband? I'm asking around about the past. If you've been here for a while, maybe you know something. 17 years ago, did an incident... Uh, did some incident occur in this village? Ah, that brings, me, that brings back memories. That was when there used to be a clinic here in the village. I lived in the village then, but only for a short time. Do you know a man called Ryan? Ryan was the lighthouse keeper, a very kind man. Where is he now? Dead and buried. He died. That also happened 17 years ago. He was murdered on a desolate night. It was early winter, just like it is now. Where was he killed? 
in the graveyard, so I want to ask him to go there. Do you have any kind of memento of his? Would it help you to find something out? Well, you might not believe me, but... No, that's alright. He left behind a photo. It's torn in half, though. Hmm. Is that of the doctor? If you are interested in Ryan, visit the hut on the cape to the north. If you find anything out, do let me know, won't you? Of course, and thank you for believing me. Alright, so she's supposed to be like a bad seed, but I see nothing bad about her. She's a lady in a wheelchair! In mourning! What can possibly be bad about her? Said the most innocent person ever. Is this a clinic? And a doctor? I wonder what's on the other half. Time for a visit to the Cape of the North. It might be her, right? She might be his wife. Maybe the other half is her laying in bed. And, like, the doctor came to visit her. Alright. Guess we'll just scour his home for any clues. Oh, shit. Keats is here. Hey, Keats, you find anything? Keats, why are you here? Same as you. Whatever Ryan said to Regine 17 years ago, it triggered a tragedy. And now, Regine has been killed. Are there any clues? Only half a photo. Give it to me. I have the other half. Oh. It's Harvey. What could it mean? They match. A doctor and his patient. Is that Harvey? Suzette's brother. Yes. I was told that he died because of someone. Told by whom? The dead? Yes. How'd you know? A reporter cannot divulge his sources. But we still don't know why Harvey, Ryan, and Ronaldo died. And now Regine, just what's happening here? I'm getting Deadly Premonition slash Twin Peaks up in here. Would it be alright if I borrowed the photo until tomorrow? Um, no? So, you need this too, eh? No problem, take it. Thanks. Uh, it'll really, it'll really, eh. It, it'll, 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 eh. It's such a fucking, uh, weird to say. It'll really help. I suppose we'll be seeing each other again later then. Acquired photo. The photo Keats gave me must be Ryan's memento. Go to Hinge at night, explore a bit more. Um, I don't think I can do any quests for the barkeep right now. I mean, I'll check, but. Like, I'll check, uh, I'll check the pub. Maybe I might be able to do a request with Barkeep right now. But I highly doubt it. Maybe show him the photo, he'll be like, Oh man, well if you find anything about Ryan, tell me. God, this game really needs a remaster. <laughs> Just the loading times alone. Alright. Uh, any quests for me? I don't need any favors now. Alright, well, guess I'll just head to the pub. I mean, not the pub. I guess I'll just head to, uh, Ellen's hut. Wait for nighttime and then head to the... I can't even say the fairy realm. I don't think we're heading to the fairy realm. Probably heading somewhere else.
Time to go to sleep. I just really had like a cup of water with me. Next time I get up, if I do end up getting up, if I head to the bathroom, I'll make sure to grab like a cup of water on the way back. It will help out with the sore throat. It's the photo Keats gave me, Ryan's Memento. Yes, what about it? All right, onward to the pub. Well, I mean, I can just head directly to the hinge, but let's head onward to the pub. Maybe I'll run into like a uh, a quest or maybe someone new. A new half-life in here. Hmm. Alright, so the big guy's gone, and Demona's here. Let's see, you guys got anything new to say to me? The netherworld is scary. If you go, you'll be careful. Well, of course she will. Give her some specific advice. Well, what about you? You give her some peculiar advice. And any, a uh, peculiar. Was that the word? Particular. And, uh, in any case... If it begins to get risky in there, just come back. Hmm. Alright. What about you, Master Splinter? Huh. You must only do one quest at a time. That goes for daytime and nighttime. Okay. So I can't tackle multiple. That's nice to know. What about you, Frizzy? The, hated, uh, the hatred that girl Suzette felt for her family is gone now. You did well. You solved her problem. There's a half-life named Charlie Rawhead. Yeah, I ran into him. He's the best saxophonist you ever heard. But he's a bit temperamental. He won't play unless all his conditions are met exactly. We really would like to hear him. Can anything be done? I mean, I already did that quest. He can't play the sax because he has no fucking windpipe or lungs or respiratory system whatsoever. Defeat Bargus. Hmm. Okay. I'll take it. The Bargus keeps mm, getting in the way of our fairy tree sap harvesting. The alcohol we make from fairy tree sap is exquisite. Would you go and sort that out? Alright, sounds like a plan. Shouldn't be too hard. Alright. Back in the fer uh, fairy realm. Can't speak to save my life. Let's just hope the fucking... The enemy I need to take care of isn't, isn't too far away. Right? I'm just gonna ignore these guys. They shouldn't pose too much of a threat, actually. Just in case I need to get past someone. Let's see. Alright. Nothing over there. They're gonna make me run all the fuck the way back of the area, right? I'm gonna have to run all the way to the back of the area. These guys aren't even worth the time right now. Ooh. Ooh. What the hell's going on right now? The audio's cutting out a little bit. That's weird. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just my headset. But 
the music definitely cut out for me for like a good while. Not while, but like for a good moment. There's a Pickaboo. Pickaboo? What the hell are those things called? Bugaboo. It's a Bugaboo over there. None of the fairies are here. They seem to properly fuck off. Right. Oh, you're over here. That's interesting. Do I have you in my arsenal? I think I do, right? Yes, I do. A Daru. Over here is this guy. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Ogma or some shit. Actually, actually, what do I need for its uh, karma? Maybe I can. Maybe I can fight it. See if I can level up its uh, its attack. Ouch. I ran straight into that attack. There we go. That's one, and I guess the other one's stuck on this rock behind me. Seem to be having a hard time over here. Oh, I missed. Come on. There you go. What did you drop for me? Alright. Let's see. What do I need to do to power up the rest of these guys, actually? I keep pressing select. Not you. Unknown. Bowery. Karma info. Uh, exorb one more. Defeat five. With all right. Exorb, exorb, defeat ten folks. Hmm. All right. Maybe I should do that when I'm not streaming, right? As long as I don't progress in the story, it should be fine. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Alright. So, ow. Ouch. Do I have anything else I'll take? Well, yeah, of course. Make punch itself. Wait, is it immune to its own attack? Seems kind of ridiculous, not gonna lie. Well, I ran straight into that one. Alright, well, good. Didn't think that would happen. There we go. Quest complete. There, that should do it. Hmm? Oh, shit! There's more of you. 
That's not... That's not what I expected. how it's chasing me. actually really focusing on this because I don't want to get fucked up. They hit pretty hard. Alright, come on. You don't have to miss that attack. Oh. I'll take you. The other one's gonna get me though. Come on. There we go. I was surprised he was actually stuck there. Oh, he's almost down. One more hit. Oh, got him. Oh, come on. Could have gave that one to me. Looks like they were hiding. That should definitely be it. Rank up. Nice. I'll take that. Thanks to you, the tap can keep on flowing. Oh, and here's your reward. You know, just a token of my appreciation and all that. Paul Street Nuts. Warm tree nuts. Cold tree nuts. Hmm. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I just hope... I just, you know, wish they wouldn't make me run all the fuck the way. Through the whole entire map. Just, like, drop me off where I need to be. Make go by a little bit faster. But onward to the hinge. Alright. Use item. Use memento key. Photo. Looks like nothing happened. Maybe it's not a memento. Huh. Okay. Well, that's weird. Maybe the photo's not a strong enough memento. In which case, I guess I would... Uh, I would assume I would meet up with the Scarecrow and ask him what's what, but I don't even think that's going to help. Maybe someone in the pub might have an idea. Or maybe Ryan's not dead. Therefore, it can't be a memento, because he's not dead. Uh, I'll ask the barkeep, actually. Maybe he'll help me out. If you complete a quest, you get a reward that should help on your netherworld travels. If you even find yourself stuck, you should try to take it on a quest. When people have problems, the netherworld is often the cause. But the living today don't know what to do about it. Hmm. I guess I can go talk to Keats, maybe? He should be in his hut. Well, not his hut, his little, his little hidey hole over here. Hey, Keats, I need your help. This memento's not working. This is where Keats don't think it's proper visit at night. 
Maybe I'll head to the lighthouse? If I, if I see nothing at the lighthouse, maybe I'll need to head and talk to, uh, what's her name? Lighthouse Cape. Let's see. Hmm. I don't think there'll be anything in here, because something should have triggered... Maybe I'll go talk to Harriet. She should know more about this. But it's like nighttime, so she might not even be awake. Uh, is this where Harriet lives? O'Connell's home. No. See, Harriet's home. Seems to be locked. Okay, is there anything back here? Huh. I guess I can just wait for it to be daytime again and maybe talk to Keats. I find it weird that nothing happened. Right? Cloaks, karma release, event. See. But now it's fixed. You know what? I'll head to the hinge one more time. Before I even switch to daytime. I'll head to the hinge. See if there's something else I can trigger, maybe. And if not... Then I guess I'll switch it to daytime. Looks like nothing happened. Okay. What about... Wasn't there, like, a pathway or something that led to underground? Hmm. I guess not. I guess that was, like, a little portal that was over here or something. Huh. Well, then I'll wait till daytime. Rest for the night. Alright. Maybe I'll go look for Keats. This is Harriet's home, right? Let's talk to Harriet first. Maybe she'll tell me something. Let's see. This is Ryan's memento. I'll place it in your charge. You might find something else in Ryan's hut on the lighthouse. I'm looking forward to hearing more about Ryan. Do I have to search his hut? I might have to search his hut. I assume... I assumed, like, uh, talking to Keats and him handing me the other piece of the photo would be, uh, what I need. But maybe there's something else in there to, like, tie together with it. Alright, 
Let's see. Is there anything in here? Hmm. Don't seem like it. Maybe if I came back at night and checked it. Hey, cat, tell me your secrets. Nope. All right, cool. Let's see if I can talk to Keats. Maybe he'll give me like an idea or something. Keats, you home? Nope, he's never home. Maybe I can check the hinge at daytime. Or talk to the barkeep. I don't think. Hmm. I don't think I had a conversation with the barkeep. I think I just asked him for like a quest. I might need to have a conversation with him. There we go. You just try getting the truth out of Harriet. Alright, cool. So no one's saying anything new, really. Guess I'll check out the uh, hinge, because that's the graveyard too, right? It acts as a graveyard? Or maybe there might be a graveyard on the cliff side. Nothing will happen until it gets dark. Well, that's a fucking lie, because I checked it out when it was dark and nothing happened. Alright. Well, what else could it possibly be? Oh no, let's check the cliff side. Wait, is this the cliff side? I'm trying to remember. Off the bat, I think this is the cliff side. Let's see. Where does this leave? Nowhere. Alright. Check the map, maybe it leads to something. Uh, let's see. Ryan the Lighthouse Keeper must have felt strongly about that photo, as is his memento. I'll go to the hinge at night. I went to the hinge at night. Nothing happened. I guess I'll try it again, right? There's no harm in that. Rest. I'll try it again. And maybe something, for some reason, might happen magically. item. Oh! That was so stupid. Wow. <laughs> it's a fucking item select. Oh my god. I thought it was saying like memento key as in like the item category and I thought it meant like I was using the photo. 
but I have to choose between key or photo. All right, well, photo. Wow, that was a stupid thing for me to do. She ran off to the church graveyard. I must find her. Hmm. To the church graveyard. So I guess I gotta look for the church. Which I think is past the pub? Oh, hey, Keats. What's going on? Where were you when I was looking for you for help? Keats. So, if you've come. I have a question. Does this netherworld mean that ancient legends were true? The fabrications of ancient men and these illusions are unrelated, but it seems quite real to me as well. But the afterworld is no such place. How do you know? I just know. Why not come along? The photo allowed me to communicate with the dead. Why not? I can do with a new story. To the church graveyard. The apex of Ryan's memories. Hey, we finally teamed up. That's great. I was wondering when they were going to team up instead of, like, going on their own. That's some freaky shit. Did I get dragged into hell? I might have actually been dragged into hell. There's a lot of fire going on around the graveyard. Am I on a fucking battlefield? Oh, hey, it's Scarecrow. Modern man created this place, you know? That's why there's such terrifying folklore living deep in the realm. But don't let that stop you. Defeat it, and you may meet the lighthouse keeper, Ryan. Well, I mean, the barkeep did say that they were, uh, war buddies or whatever the fuck, right? Huh. Guess I'll put this in the save data, right? All right. So did I get separated from Keats? These fairies are here too. Talk to me, damn it! I came all this way to help you. Which path to take? Exploring ro exploding rocks. Mission in Warsita. War Warkata War uh, Warkata the Rebels. Alright. Which path to take? You can decide to move on or just walk around a little. You might find something good. I certainly won't stop you if you want to hurry on though. Just be careful. There are many difficulties ahead. Exploding rocks. There are folks hiding in some of the stones you can destroy. Some of the stones explode, so be careful. Alright. We need to have you defeat the folklore in the, f in the fortress. Our mission is to help you with that task. By doing absolutely nothing. Long ago, there were some bad people who turned the netherworld upside down. A three-person group, a woman, a half-life, and more recently, a messenger joined them. Okay. Oh, my bad. Sorry, I read that one already, so never mind. Hmm. Netherworld de desonants cannot travel freely to other realms. Then how the fuck are you here? That's why we came with you, Ellen. What? How does that make sense? Netherworld desonants cannot travel freely within realms. That's why they came with me? What do you mean, like, me activating a... Me opening a realm allows them to go through, I guess? 
Oh, you're an ugly son of a bitch, aren't you? Rebel Desident. Some of us are. Uh, some of us entered Warcadia long ago to help clean it up, but after fighting for so long, ended up turning into Warcadia folks. Huh. All right. And who are you? Oh, you're the knight. Aren't you from the fairy realm? How'd you get here? You had the fairy lord's blessing. So, uh, when you open the door to another realm, we can also enter with you as our guides. The netherworld is vast and dangerous, but we fairies will advise you. And let our army lend you its support. Army? Are you talking about war? Helping you will benefit the netherworld as well. In this round, the folk have divided into two armies and are fighting each other. We have to stop them. But how? By defeating the Warcadia folklore with you and bringing the realm under control. But I only came here to find out about my past. I didn't come here to fight. I understand. We don't care for conflict either, but it must be done. And I guess so. If it must be done, it is what it is. It is what it is. Fuck. Grab that. So what do you guys do? Hawk. Not elemental charges. Charge forward with the bayonet. Alright. I guess I can replace um, that for that. Right. Oh, that's some range. Can I charge it? Nope. That's cool, I guess. Huh. Where does this lead? Get you guys in a line. Alright, it only counts as one hit though. So. Ouch! Yellow dust. Yeah, release Hark's Karma. Stimmy Tail is, uh, what? Oh, two of them. Simultaneous, okay. That's what they mean by that. Well, since these possibly explode, then I'll send these guys to do my dirty work. Yep. Oh, shit. Okay. You guys go. Health. And what the hell is over here then? Oh shit. There's a bunch of you. I guess, um, it'd be good to have someone with range, right? Um, these guys are cool, right? So I'll keep them, but maybe switch over to this. That'll probably help out a little bit more.
There we go. What the hell is this? Yellow dust. Did I just walk out the area? Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. I wasn't paying attention. So I guess I can send three out now, right? Oh, that's pretty good, actually. There we go. Alright, what the hell are you? I'm getting a shot at over here. Hold up, hold up. That guy's spraying on me. This guy's over here shooting. Bullseye absorbed. Alright. You guys are fucking me up. Let's see what the hell this is about. Oh, there's two of them. Alright. I got a barrager and a bullseye. Long range non elemental attack fires rifle in a forward direction. Uh, continuing release fires machine gun forward. Non elemental mid ranged. Alright. Let's see. Let's do that. And. Um. Uh, I guess I can just have it there. Right? See. That's not bad. Two shots. Alright. So I can either go that way or over here. Let's see what's over here. Alright. As I yawn directly into the microphone. Alright, so I can just send the troops out. That's very useful, actually. I like that. Okay, there was nothing over there. What about here? Health. What's down here? Am I going in a fucking circle? I came from there, right? There's nothing over there. That's dead end. Alright, then what the hell is down here? I'm trying to remember if I was here already or not.
That guy was just getting shot up. The worst day of his life. Alright, so what the hell? Was I here already? Oops, wrong way. There you go. No, I wasn't here already. Was I? Some of it. Every place looks a little bit familiar. I don't think I was here. Yeah, no, I don't remember being here. Yeah, this is just a dead end. So what's over here? Hey, look at this. Workadia picture book number one. Alright. So shoot up a guy that looks like he's covered in armor. He looks like a heartless. Shoot him up. And what's over here? Alright. I don't even know if I'm going towards progression or not. Oh, I can't see shit. I think I was over here. Is this the beginning? This might be the beginning. So I basically went to a giant circle, it seems. Yeah, I definitely did. Alright, cool. Alright. My bad. <laughs> I didn't mean to press that. I switched over to one hand real quick because I had to scratch my nose. My nose itches. Listen, I'm only human. can't ignore you guys, so I'm gonna do that. Or I'll be here forever. What the hell was that? You try to blow me up? Alright. So this is where I didn't go. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of you guys here. There's a lot of you. There's two more of you left. Oh shit, there's three more of you left. I'm gonna shot at. Yeah, there's two more. You take that. I tried to dodge, but I didn't do it in time. Come on. Damn it. There you go. Get some health back. Never mind. That's not health, that's yellow dust. This looks like a mini boss. If I know my video games, and I do, it's a boss arena. Oh shit! You look cooler than I thought you would. Get in my my little minions. Get 
doesn't even cost that much to send these guys out. Just sending a whole damn army. Come on. This guy's just getting bullied. Feel bad for him. Oh, there we go. Uh, what's going on here? It's not green, it's blue. What's going on? Oh! What? I gotta beat the shit out of its spirit? That's different. Huh. A degrasser. Degasser. Degasser? A Degrassi. Yes. Degrassi has joined my team. What the hell is this? Book number three. Well, page number three, not book. What am I saying? Let's see. Use him to do something with, with that. Alright. Let's see what you got. Just a big hit. Can I charge it? Yes, I can. Just a stronger hit. Alright. Can I do a combo? Nope. But I can do this, right? I can send like these guys out. And then throw him out at the same time. Alright. Oh, hey, Scarecrow. How's it going? Scarecrow, the fairies are... They're hiding something from you, Ellen. The fairy lord wants to go deep into the netherworld. But to do so, he needs to have you go on ahead. That's why they've been so eager to help you. I know he's been hiding something. He's been fucking creepy. What? But they've been so kind to me. Why does the fairy lord want to go right into the netherworld? Who knows? The fairy lord doesn't share his thoughts with lowly pawns like peons like me, not pawns. All right. What about you guys? Don't pay us any heed. Just go and search for your dead. This battle is another world affair. There are some who object to having uh, you too involved. All right. I actually want to change her outfit. Because I like the way the other one looks. Way better. And I don't think I'll run into any, um... I don't think I'll run into any... Resist bond and sleep. I don't think I'll run into any of that here. It doesn't seem like I would. Alright. Nothing over here. The dead in Warcedia, Warcedia, Warcadia, for the most part, are all had, are all, uh, all had a sudden and accidental death, or accidental death. So the same must be true for the lighthouse keeper Ryan. So his death was sudden and accidental. Phew! It was quite a feat to come all this way, you know. Machine soldiers. Machine soldiers in Warcadia are ridiculously durable, so they are really hard to deal with. To begin with you, uh, to begin, you'll need to do something about their armor. Ambush unit. Rumor has it that the ambush unit has a secret weapon. Believe this. Flying machines. I saw them only the other day. Machine soldiers buzzing around. I'm sure they were summoned by thunder machine soldiers. How to meet the dead. This is the battlefield. Unlike the fairy realm, we don't have a room to meet the dead in here. In this realm, the spirits of the dead could be running around on the battlefield. Hmm. 
That's interesting. Well, he was, uh... Apparently he was in the army, so he's a veteran, I guess. Ooh, I need fire for this. Do I have fire? I don't think any of these guys have any fire, no. And none of you have, like, explosives or anything, you just have gunfire. Nope. So I need fire. Oh, it's blocking my way. That's great. <laughs> I didn't think it would be blocking my way, but it is. Cool. What about over here? deal with you guys. Oops. Where am I? Where am I aiming? Oh, come on. I can't connect the other one. So I'm gonna head this way. Man, it's just a lot of you guys. It's too fucking many. Oh shit. That guy almost had me for a moment. Alright. Now that you're dealt with, I came from I came from up here, right? So there's two areas for me to go, either over here. Eh, I'll check over here. I think this will be a dead end. Hmm. Guess not. Where the hell that is, I need for it. Maybe it's like electricity or something. I'm just gonna ignore you guys. Hmm. There's mines. That's great. Guys, go set off those mines. Good job. Sacrifice yourselves for me. this about? This is wind, right? So I need... Where the hell is he? Here you go. These might explode, actually. So let me get a good distance. I see guys just place mines over there. Am I crazy? Oh, you guys. Here you go. You're not escaping from me. Where the hell are you going? No. 
Huh. Was this always here? Orcadia, page number four. I'm missing page two, but whatever. Use mines to... Use mines and electricity? Huh. I guess this is this might be for the boss or something. I'm missing page number two though. I don't have that. Let's see. What are you guys called? Ambush. Yeah. Destroy element. Destroy element. Okay. Didn't something else have a destroy element? Bond trap. Powerful slash. Charm. Short range. Bugaboo. Non elemental. Huh. Set mines that explode. Enemy approaches. Release karma to widen the area of mines. That's interesting. Guess I gotta hold it down for him to set the mine. Alright. Oh, I don't have to hold it down. I just gotta keep him protected. Make sure no one fucks it up. Alright. Ouch, I'm getting shot. I'm allergic to bullets. That's not good. You should stop that. There you go. Simultaneous bullseye. Which are these guys? Oh, yeah, that's good. Can I get simultaneous of these guys? It'll be nice. I will love it. It'll be great. They'll be so powerful. Alright. Was I... Is this where I came from? This isn't where I came from. This is a different area. This is definitely not where I came from. Because I went to the other... To the other side. I'm going to... Eh. Ow. You have to shoot me. Yep, I was standing right where they set that at, huh? Yeah, that one's my fault. No. You stop. Shit, he escaped. But you won't. Don't worry, you guys have to put down more mines sooner or later. Then I'll catch you in the act. Like this. Come on, ambush guy. You just ran past my mine. That's bullshit. Get over here. So there's nothing over here either. I guess they were both pathways, so I can just get the uh, ambush. I'm not worried about you guys. Out of my way. These little army dudes are pretty powerful. I like them. Every time I switch my folks out, I feel like this game's gonna crash. <laughs> I really do. Alright, so I need to head over here? Was there a pathway over here? No, there wasn't. Wait, was there? This wasn't clear before, was it? I don't remember this area being clear.
I don't remember this area at all. Oh, hey. Look at that over there. Oh, yeah, you guys are... Guess I'll just put an ambush down. Right? If I distract you enough. If I put down enough mines, maybe. I think this guy might be able to do some damage, too. Nope, he's immune to the mines, it seems. So the only thing that can hurt this guy is this. A gaboy? A gaboy. Really, that's what it's called? called the Gaboy. Put a mine there, that should destroy it, right? No. Can I trigger my own mines? Nope, can't trigger my own mines. Alright. Short range thunder element combo attack. Press rapidly for thunder lunge special attack series. Alright. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Orcadia, page two. Okay. Use the big guy to punch face dudes. Let's see. Okay. It's not bad. Can I charge it? Nope. But I can delay it. Alright. So what's over here? Why the fuck does that keep happening? That might be my headset. I'm not sure if that's the game. I keep hearing like this static noise. Like every once in a while. Golden ore. Well, that's interesting. Purple stone. Nothing. Combo attack has increased. One, two, three. That's nice. Oh, shit. Both you guys should stay there. That was easy. You guys put up zero fight. Oh. Hey, I did a big circle. That's nice. I like that. It's like a shortcut. I gotta keep rotating these saves. I feel like this game's gonna fucking crash at some point. Alright, so... That way is cut off. I went this way. No, this way was cut off, but now I can... Now I can head this way. Because I have the... I have the god boy. The god boy. Right? Whatever the fuck it's called. It's weird. Alright. Now that that's out my way...
Patriot. Hmm. That's cool. Let's see. What does the Patriot do? I could have just read what it does there, but it's a shield. Nice. And it, if I hold it up, that's pretty cool. All right, depress button to guard Ellen continuously. Forward guard, no protection against attacks from behind. Okay, oops, didn't mean to do that. Switch back to what I had that on. What did I have that on? I think I had it on the Roger. All right. Well, I mean, I can switch these guys up, right? I'm used to guard being on X. But how the fuck would I get up there? Alright, well I guess I gotta get something that can attack upwards. To deal with that. So is that all I needed from here? Just the fucking face guy? Hmm. Alright. Okay, game. I gotta fucking... My dog is slowly inching closer to me, like something's bothering her. I gotta reposition myself. My legs are starting to fucking fall asleep. I just hit my goddamn, uh, whatchamacallit. Oops. Now I got my fuck. Now I got my wire all tangled up and shit. Damn it. Come on. Come on. Other way. God, I'm trying not to pull on the wire so hard because I don't want my microphone to flip shit. Make sure everything's nice and secure so my microphone doesn't fly off my stand. Alright. There we go. Reposition myself a little bit, but I don't think it's going to help that much. I hope it helps. I don't think it's going to help that much, though. Alright, so I came from that way. Cool. Over here. Guess I'm going this way? Where the fuck am I going? I'm here. R1, what does that do? Oh, it changes the map. Alright, cool. KB territory. Alright. Oh, hey, there's my fucking experience shit. It's up there. Never noticed that. Alright, so... Where am I again? Guess I'm heading... This way? No. Where the fuck... The map does not match up. <laughs> it doesn't look like it match up. What the hell is going on here? I need a better map. The map's kind of confusing, not gonna lie. It's not like Resident Evil 4, where it's like you know exactly where everything is. Alright. Oh, what the hell? A warthog. Cool. Oh, I gotta, I gotta smack. I gotta smack it around. All right, warthog absorbed. Launches airborne bomb run. What the hell is that? Look at that fucking cat like reflexes. Ouch. Ow. Come 
Come on, come back down here. How are these guys paralyzed? What the hell is wrong with these guys? There we go. Fucking kill my frame rate over here. Alright, well. It's just, uh, have I been here before? I'm pretty sure I've been here before, right? Yeah, I have. It's just different. Alright, well, first things first, pick these up. Second thing, now that I have the, uh, the flying guy, I can go destroy those, um, those stones. Maybe get something nice out of it, like a cloak or something. Destroy that. I aimed it the wrong way. That's alright though. Ouch. That hurt. Why is it going the wrong way? Go the right way, motherfucker. Oh wow, they're immune to it? I didn't know they were immune to it. Come closer. Come closer, come over here. Come on. Start destroying shit. Never mind. I gotta like, I gotta like perfectly time it or something. It's not high enough. How many more folks do I have for this area? That was the last one, right? How the fuck? How the hell am I supposed to get that? Hmm. That's weird. How am I supposed to get those if I can't get if I can't get up there with anything? I don't think any of my other folklores can do anything about it. Not elemental, wind, sleep element. Bond trap, mid range, non elemental, slash element, whatever the fuck that means, charm element, destroy element. Oh, maybe he can get it. Maybe he can reach up there with his, uh, with his little pines. Nope. Despite, despite it being super tall. He cannot hit those. Because he does a downward attack. Yeah, I don't... I don't know how to get those. Maybe if I activate the Warhog right under it? It can, like, go straight upwards and maybe that'll count? Nope. That's disappointing. There's probably something good in there, too. Alright. Well. 
That sucks. Was this the way I was supposed to go? I think so. Because now the Warhawks appear over here. Yeah, there he is. I'll just ignore him. I have no use for it. Well, that's a lie. I probably have to absorb, like, maybe one more. To, like, level it up. Okay, but this leads to over here, which is nothing. And then the other one leads to nothing, too. Oh no, this leads to here. Huh. That's interesting. How do I deal with that? The little uh, electric guys. Oh! No, I need um. Okay. I see. I gotta put uh, mines under it. Well, let's substitute you because. To be honest, the Warhawk kind of sucks. Ooh! That was a direct hit. How close do I gotta be? Damn. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Holy shit. Yeah, that's not a... Not messing around with that. Yikes. That is not, a. Uh, that's not fun. Items. Event. Karma release. Let's see. Punching yellow dust. I have, like, no... None of them can be used as, like, heal items. Damn. Wow, that was, uh... That was not, uh... That was not fun. That was anti-fun. Let me go heal up and then I'll... I'll rethink that strategy. Wow. Maybe the Warhawk can help me out there. Like, the book didn't say the Warhawk can help me out there, but maybe it can. That is a... That was not... That is not advisable. I recommend not doing that. Looks like I'm wandering through hell. I, like... Technically, I guess, I went to a graveyard and fucking... I got dragged underground and a fiery portal came. So I guess it is hell. But it's called Warcadia for some reason. Alright, so... Let's do this. Ow. That was not a... That was not fun. I'll just ignore that. I'll pretend that didn't happen. Let's see. I just got out of hell. You think that's hell? This is about to be hell. I'm, I most likely will die here. Nope, that doesn't affect it. Ow! If I 
keep moving, it won't hurt me. Famous last words. It has side guns? Are you serious? Oh, did I disable it? That was not... That was not fun. It has a fucking charge attack too. Wow. I blocked that at the last second. I'm out of fucking magic. Come on, just... Just turn red. Just turn red. Ouch. Alright, well... That's not fun. Almost ran straight to that explosion. Take a lot of fucking damage. Well, it's a tank, I guess, but still. This thing's gonna fucking kill me. take way, way too much damage. Come on. Health, come back. Well, not health. Magic. Stay away from that. As much as I can. Ow! Ow! Fuck! Oh my god, how much fucking damage do you take? Shooting artillery again. I want to stay away from that. All right, it can only shoot forward, it seems. Stay away from that. Oh. Ooh, that is not a good trade. Uh, that's an artillery shell. And I'm dead. Shit. That is... That is difficult. That's the first death. Good thing I saved the game. That motherfucker took a lot of hits. Wow. That is ridiculous.
Can I put to sleep if he's a tank? I don't think so. The book doesn't say anything about that. The book says... Hit it with mines, right? And then hit it with the little electric guys. That's all the book is telling me. I mean, if it if it fucking withstands a a fucking aerial bomb attack, pretty sure I can't put the tank to sleep. Let me see. Maybe um maybe I can just load these guys up, right? Let's see, what do I need more? Defeat three Patriots with it. Defeat three Patriots with it? Fucking... I thought the Patriot would stand those attacks. Alright. And what about... What about these guys? Defeat ten Hawk with an ambush. Defeat ten Hawks with an ambush. Absorb ten ambushes. Which one is the hawk again? Oh, these guys are the hawk. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. I guess I can just grind it out, right? And make them a little bit stronger. Am I even going the right way? I think so. Zap the shit out of it? That's what I was doing. I was zapping the motherfucker and he just... He just wouldn't, wouldn't go down. Alright, so... So you guys... Just deal with you real quick. Ow! this thing three times. I guess I need to kill it. Well, that's one. I didn't know these guys can get knocked out by that. Hmm. I'll just come kill that thing two more times. And then it should be stronger. Maybe it'll have like a... Maybe it'll have its like area of effect attack or something. Just ignore you guys real quick. That's two. And this should be the third time. Then after that I'll go, uh... Absorb some more of those mine guys. Maybe I'll get like a second one. Ouch. Uh, consumption reduced. Well, that's not what I wanted. I mean, it helps out, but... I was hoping it'd be something like... Attack increased or some shit. And then over here... First of all, gotta get this. Oh, never mind. Thought he was gonna tackle me. Well, forget about that guy then. All right. So over here is one of the hot guys. over here. 
This guy fucking takes a lot of hits. Oh my god. There you go. Jesus. Took too many fucking hits. How many how many of them do I gotta kill that way? I gotta kill ten of them that way? Oh shit, it didn't even count. Defeat ten hawks with an ambush. I guess that one wasn't a hawk. I guess that one was something else. I need two more ambushes, though. I guess that was a bullseye that I killed. Alright. It's not my fault they fucking look alike. These are the hawks. Alright, well, let me absorb these two over here. And then maybe it'll be easier to kill the, uh, the other guys. Yeah, this guy is a... He's a different thing. I'll absorb him. Why not? That's one. That's two. Air of effect has been increased. Alright. Maybe these will pop some, uh... Where's the bird? Maybe I get some purple stones out of this? Nope, just health. I'll take it. If I had, like, two more purple stones, I think I would level up the, uh... Zappy guy again. Wow, they just fucked him up. There you go. Ouch. Let me get rid of you. Come on. Well, she took more than just one hit to knock him out. Oh, come on. Come over to the mine. You know you want to. Come on, come blow yourself up. That's great. There you go. Come on. There we go. Let you die. Get you. Let's get you. You're still alive. Ow! Alright. How many was that? That was four. <laughs> Alright, well, shit. I'm not gonna sit there through that for like a million years. I think the bigger blast radius should be enough to help out. What the hell is over here? Oh, this guy. Eh. Uh oh, uh oh. Ah, I thought I had my shield. Shit, I got the bird. 
Here we go. This is green ore. Still don't know what the ore is used for in this game. Uh, did I come from this way? No. I'm gonna go save it, get my health back, and then I'm gonna try beating that fucking tank again. That tank takes a lot of fucking hits. God, the camera angle is fucking with me. There you go. Alright, here we go. I'm also gonna... set the, um... set you back up. And I think that should be good. It's a tanky boy. Yeah, I know. Save the game. And before I fight that tank, I'm actually gonna go and fucking use the bathroom. Probably let my dog out too, because she's staring at me like she has to do something. So, I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Feeling fine and refreshed, but I forgot to get a fucking cup of water. Totally forgot about that. All 
Alright, just making sure all these wires aren't in my goddamn way. <clears throat> oh shit. Oh, what the fuck did I just do? Oh no, I pressed something that I shouldn't have pressed. Alright, there we go. Who designed me my t uh, t that, 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 that can't speak. Who designed my uh, to be continue screen? And the thanks for watching screen. Um, all the artists that I've uh, that I commissioned and work with, they're in uh, the about me page. But um, both of those were uh, made by Volta Base. Fucking love Volta Base. I also gotta, <laughs> I also gotta email him again at some point. <laughs> Because me and him were having a conversation and I completely, I completely like forgot about it until like a week later and I was like, oof. Because the way we communicate is the most inefficient way possible. But yeah. Uh, both of those are made by Volta Base. Big brain time. Wow, what's going on? My fucking glasses are fogging up. Jesus. Don't know why my glasses started fogging up. Alright. So. This tank, right? It's gonna beat my ass. Yeah, I anticipated that. Take that, dickhead. You forgot about the emails? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I had a lot of shit going on. I also... Got, I still got a lot of shit going on right now. I gotta um, email him again, right? Mainly because... uh. Mainly because I want to continue the conversation I have with him. And also, I have, uh, I have some ideas to throw his way. But, um, before I do that, I want to make sure that, uh, what the hell is that on the ground? I guess it's like the, the shell the artillery leaves behind? <clears throat> Ouch! Alright. Starting off to getting a great start. What the fuck? I wasn't even near the bullets. Alright, well, this is amazing. I'm doing a fucking fantastic job here. Come on. Turn around. Shit. Yeah, this is going poorly. Alright, well he's in a corner now. Kinda wanna get away from him a bit. I wish there was a fucking, like, item I can use to heal myself, but there isn't any. Which is weird. A game that's like a RPG doesn't have any heal items. That's confusing. Oh shit, I'm facing the wrong way. Come on. Oh, don't face the wrong way. Come on, turn around. Can I get rid of the armor somehow? I don't think so. I thought, like, maybe if I used the mind guy, it would, like, do something, but... It's not really... Shit.
He is in the corner. He is firmly in that corner. It is really difficult to get to it. Shit. It's like freaking out a bit though. So like, it might be getting weaker. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm running out of fucking magic too. Oh yeah, one more hit and I'm done. <laughs> shit. This is the first enemy that really like truly fucks me up. I'll go at it again, and then this time I'll try and see if I can hit it with the mines a little bit more. Because I noticed that it started to, like, spark crazily. Had a lot of sparks flying. Yeah. Like... Alright, that thing's just gonna do its thing. <clears throat> Maybe I just have to bomb the shit out of it, right? Which is weird because fucking these guys over here on the ground when I was fighting them, they took like a million bombs and they're not even tanks. They took like a million mines to, die, to fucking die, right? Alright. So you... I wonder if does that still affect it from behind? All right, cool. So the zap guy don't affect it from. Oh shit! All right, there we go. Let's back away from it a bit. Shit. weakened, it seems. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, got it. Okay, so the bombs seem to do more damage on it. Which is weird because they don't damage the smaller guys that much. Huh. Now all that work, you better have a fucking good-ass attack. Gargantuna? Not Tuna, Gargantua? Can I charge it? No. I can't rapid fire the artillery, that's just it. That fucking, that attack better be as strong as a goddamn nuke. For all that fucking work. That, that fight was fucking ridiculous. That took longer than the fucking first boss.
Ah, so you made it this far safely, and how the fuck did you make it past me? Yes. We intend to support you, of course. Oh, okay, you... Alright, you intend to support me, then where the fuck were you? <laughs> Thank you very much. What is it? You seem concerned about something. Oh, yeah. Why are you helping me like this? Well, helping you benefits the fairy realm. Do you plan on waging war in the next realm, too? You misunderstand us, Ellen. True, we do not. Uh, we do want to make this Warcadia a better place. We have no intention of bringing conflict to other realms, however. Yes, I'm sorry, of course you don't. Our aim is for you to go to the Netherworld's deepest reaches. And enter the Netherworld's core. The Fairy Lord will no doubt examine... Uh, examine. Explain all this to you soon. Okay. Creepy-ass Fairy Lord who, who only talks to females. And not guys. I'm sure you're, you're fighting only to find out about your past, but to us, you are our hope. I hope you find a way to win for us somehow. We'll be going with you as well. Okay. What about you? The battle with the Dreadnought will finally commence, Ellen. Dreadnought? <laughs> Wait, what? Dreadnought? We're not skilled at fighting, but we'll give you our support. How? You done shit all this far. Talk to me. Talk to me, damn it. What would you like to ask? The Warcadia Folklore Dreadnought is a terrifying weapon of destruction. It burns pl plenty of fuel, but it's able to carry plenty, so it just keeps on going and going. Set its fuel on fire, and it's likely to go up in a big bang. The armor is extremely thick, with the two C's, so its tank can't be easily pierced. The battlefield. The area up ahead is extremely hot, hotly con what, what? hotly contested zone. Literally crawling with folks. Be careful. Be careful. Be cautious. The second folklore. Aim for the rebels. Hmm. If you defeat the folklore, uh, that will make two. You're a messenger stronger than we've seen in a long while. I hope you'll be able to defeat this folklore, no matter how strong. She's here. Shudders. The very one who once threw the netherworld into chaos. I'm sure she's gloating over the chaos, too. There was an unfamiliar man wearing glasses with her. Who could it be? You mean Keats? Keats is my dude. That's my guy. What if the game just, like, fucking crashed before I can save it? And then I have to fight that tank all over again. <laughs> I would cry. God, I'll never forget. <laughs> Those are like the saddest moments in games where you do something, you're like, I finally did it, and then it crashes, and you're like, no! <laughs> Alright. Out of my way, damn it. Oh, you guys are weak. You're taking two hits now, and that's it. Oops, aim the wrong way. Still aim the wrong way. This shit is difficult. This fucking... This thing sucks. Oh my fucking god, are you serious? How far away do I gotta be? Alright, well, that's not helping out. so confused for a moment. I just saw them running towards me and I was like, what the fuck do I do? Come on, game. God. Oh, 
aim. Come on. Aim the right way, please. Alright. Shit. Come on, camera. Go back up. There you go. Oh, shit. You suffer an abnormal state. Rotate the left stick to hasten recovery. Abnormal state? Oh shit, I'm paralyzed. That's the first time that's happened. God! There's so many of you. This guy's just hiding in the corner over here. He don't know what the hell just happened. He's like, all oh, my friends, they're dead. You killed them. Damn right I did. Green dust. Green quartz. Oops. Oh, what's this? Another page. Workadia book number five. Book number five. Page number five. Alright. I guess this is the Dreadnought. I shoot it with electricity. I bomb it with the artillery. I keep bombing it. And then I punch it in the eye. Alright. That seems fair. Oh my god, I just fucking realized if I die here, fucking... Oh, if I die here, I'm gonna have to fight all those things again. Or I can just run past them. I'm not sure if it'll work, though. Maybe there might be a barrier or something. That looks creepy. Kinda cool at the same time, though. I feel like this isn't going to go well. Did the elves just get nuked right in front of me? Okay. Well, that was weird. Uh-oh. Alright. So... Okay, I guess not. I guess this is what I hit with the artillery, right? Nope! What the fuck? Alright, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let's consult the book. Bomb the shit out of it? I did that and it was immune to it. Alright. I fucking wish there was, like, words in this fucking thing so I can see. 
It's saying bomb its legs, but I, I shot the artillery at it and it did nothing. Alright. Oh, shit. Oh, I see. Alright. There's a fucking fuel tank back here that I think I gotta get. If I can fucking aim at it correctly. There we go. Alright. So I guess I do that a couple of times, and then... The, like, protective shit on its leg will go away, maybe? Shit. Alright. I'm stuck. I'm fucking stuck. Alright, now I can bomb its legs. Or I can blatantly miss. times, and then head to the front, and- oh shit! I don't want to punch its goddamn leg, I want to punch it in the mouth. I get it to shoot multiple times. Did I hold it down? It just shot multiple times. How the fuck did I do that? Alright, well, let me get its other legs then. Maybe, maybe I'll help out better. Wrong way. Uh oh. Let me get its other leg. Come on. Come on. Aim properly. Where are you aiming? Almost got hit by that missile. That would have been ugly. There we go. Punch it in the mouth. There we go. Seems like I got it down, pretty much. I just wish that the damn thing wouldn't be, like, in the corner. So I can have a better way of hitting it. God, it's so far away.
All right. It fixed its position a bit. Now it's shooting missiles at me. That's cool. There we go. There we go. That was easier than the fucking tank. Well, now that's over with. Time to talk to the dead guy. What the fuck happened to you guys? You're in, I thought they, I thought he killed you. You guys just sat there. Then all of you will disappear. Yes, Ellen. We will fade away. Into nothingness. Gone forever. What the fuck are they talking about? It is all we can do. All you can do is be useless. Okay, got it. Fuck out my face. No. Why do, why do this for me? We need to tell the humans about the afterworld. Please, help our netherworld. Please. No, don't go. Stay here. I really... Ellen? Ellen, I don't get why you care so much about them. They're useless. Let them go. They did nothing. That was... That was ridiculous. Oh, hey, it's Ryan. Are you all right? Are you Ryan? Yes. I escaped once the folklore was defeated, and there you were. All right, Ryan, tell me what's going on. Tell me what happened 17 years ago. Why did you come here? I came here to ask you something. What happened at the church 17 years ago, and why were you killed? Yes, yes, I see. It all happened when I was hanging with a bad bitch named Cinnamon. <laughs> Alright. Well, before you talk to me, is there a save point nearby? I guess not. Alright, cool. Tell me your secrets, Ryan. On the night of the Sam- Oh, fuck. I hate that word. On the Samheen, I don't know how to say that word. And no one says it in a cutscene ever. On the night of, of the magical shit, 17 years ago, I was behind the church with Harriet. We saw Harvey, which I'm pretty sure his name is pronounced Hervey, but I'm calling him Harvey, and Dr. Lester talking outside in the church. I don't... I don't like that you saw a little boy in Lester... You know, Lester the molester out there, touching people. <laughs> when the photo was taken. That's right, Harriet took it. Something odd was going on. At the time, Dr. Lesser had a clinic inside the church. The clinic inside the church. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Don't worry, little boy. I just have to inspect you real quick. Make sure everything's in tip-top shape. Well, okay. If you really want to find out about the incident at the church, ask him. Ask Dr. Lesser. Motherfucker. Why do I have to ask him if you know something? That's right. If Harriet's still in the village, please tell her something. Tell her it's all my fault. Tell her to forget intangible things and try to be happy. If she if she doesn't believe you, take her behind the church. And fucking do the deed. Finish her. 17 years ago, I asked Harriet there because there was something I wanted to show her. If you show it to her, she'll believe you. Alright but you still haven't answered an important question. Why were you killed? Oh, that? 17 years ago? I made a terrible mistake. Uh, what was the mistake?
Let me guess, you're, you're the bug thing, right? Yep. Why can't you guys just tell me what happened before you transform into little bug guys? This is Ryan's memory. Yes, let me see. Yes, bug, blow up in my face. You're mistaken. What are you- I, I can't read that fast. Holy shit. I understand. But the photo. Okay. I, I did all this work and I learned nothing. You're mistaken. Dr. Lesser has a heart of gold. Then how do you explain this photo? But... Oh. I'm sorry. The photo. It's alright, Ryan. In that case, could you find out what the girl knows? Me? Yes, I shall. If it will convince you. Please, I really need to know. We're pals, aren't we? What? The little girl has killed yet another person. Alright. How did she kill him that time? Did she just Care Bear stare him to death? Fuck. I'm saving this game. I'm not going through this shit no more. <laughs> that fucking tank was terrible. And I still gotta do this fucking chapter with Keats. Oh man. Off to Doolin. I'm in, I'm fucking in love with that magical door. I don't know why I like it so much. I really do. It's cool looking to me. All right. Well, that was something. Let's go meet with Harriet. I did all that work and I learned pretty much nothing. <laughs> that was useless. Harriet, you better fucking tell me something important. Well, you're back. Did you meet the dead? Ryan said he wants you to go back to the place you agreed to meet 17 years ago. What? How do you... 17 years ago, you saw Dr. Lester and Harvey in the church. Something odd was going on, so you took that photo. Please, come with me to the same place again tonight. That's what Ryan wants you to do. How could you possibly know a thing like that? I mean, I, I, I told you I, I talked to the dead. Ryan said he did something wrong, that he did it for you. And it got him killed. The least you can do is grant him his request now. Do you really expect me to believe this madness? Uh, is that a yes? Are you, are you coming along then? You don't expect me to believe that kind of talk? I... Uh... Wait. Alright. I suppose I do want to know why Ryan wanted me to go to the church that day. Please take me to the church. Okay, I will. What happened to you? Did we really just sit there all the way till nighttime? He asked me here 17 years ago, on the night of the magical night. <laughs> oh, look at the flowers. Flowers blooming at night. Is it Ryan? What follies is it? Oh, well, holy shit. <laughs> I had like a stroke. What folly it is to presume that the few flowers are a sign of the dead. Ellen, may I ask, did he despise me? No, he did not. 
Even after death, he still cares about you, about me. To stop groping in the dark. And to focus on the joys of living. Would you meet Ryan if you could? Yes, I would. My obsession with myth ruined my ruined his life. What happened that night at the church? In time, I will speak. Why can't you just fucking tell me now? The church was Dr. Lester's clinic. Go and see him. He, uh, he's sure to show a reaction. Okay. I just pull a fucking Cole Phelps on him. Like it's L.A. Noir. You fuck little boys, Lester. He's like, what? <laughs> you fuck young boys, Valdez. And cliffhanger. All right. Well, back to Keats, I guess. Keats enters the fairy realm in pursuit of the truth about a murder mystery from long ago, but the truth was far from his grasp. I did all that work just to get a, well, maybe I know something, maybe I don't. Why don't you go talk to the other motherfucker? Like, okay. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> Chapter 2, Lamplight. Alright. This whole affair started 17 years ago because of something... Um, oh, shit! Ow! God, my ears! What the hell was that? Alright, I have to ask the question. Did you hear that fucking sound too? Sound like static? God, what the fuck was that? Alright. <clears throat> this whole affair started 17 years ago because of something a man called uh, a man called Ryan told them Suzette... Wait, told them. Suzette's parents wanted to kill someone. Yeah, you heard the static too? I don't know what the fuck's going on with the game. That didn't happen last time I played it. It's, it was, it's been happening today. I love how I just fucking had a, had a fucking porky pig moment right there. That's all, folks. <laughs> Damn. Uh, what was the incident at the church? And is Ryan still in the village? Hmm. Reporters f for cult magazines don't generally go around chasing after murder cases. Yes, the fuck they do. What? <laughs> what? A cult magazines don't go chasing murders and ghosts. Yes, they do. That's what the occult is about. <laughs> you sure? You sure you're in the right line of work, Keats? Sure about that? But anyways, I suppose I'll ask around the village. What kind of logic is that? I work for an occult magazine. We follow the occult, but we don't we don't care about murders. Yeah. Like, does he know what occult fucking means? No wonder why his fucking magazine is dying. All right. So he said I have to go ask people. I guess I'll go talk to the barkeep, right? The barman knows everything. Unless you're playing Mass Effect. And once you walk up to the bar guy and go like, tell me what's the latest. He's all like, why the fuck do humans always ask me this? I don't know. I don't care about you people. <laughs> why are you two so fascinated with Ryan? I wish you would go just... I wish you would just give it a rest. Well... It's up to you. Ryan was close to Harriet, the woman in the wheelchair. Alright. Well, let's go talk to Harriet. Why do I feel like that cat's just gonna start talking someday? There's a cat hanging out on the on the box near the bar. I'm just gonna walk past it and it's gonna be like, what's up? And I'm just gonna be like, you just fucking talk to me? Did you know a woman called Regine? She recently fell over the cliff and died. She must have been involved in something bad. Yes, I knew her. It seems to have begun 17 years ago with a separate incident. Other than Regine's husband, Ronaldo, the only person who come up so far in connection with this is a man called Ryan. I was wondering if you knew anything about him. Ryan is dead. That was also 17 years ago. Another person died. 
Were you and Ryan close? He was a kind man, but with my disability and all, he was always very helpful to me. Do you have any mementos of his? Huh, how odd. A young lady asked me the same thing. I won't ask why you want it. She did, eh? Interesting. Me? Well, I'm just doing a story. I already gave what Ryan entrusted me to Ellen, I'm afraid. The pub owner was close friend of Ryan's, however. Yeah, but he doesn't want me talking about Ryan. He told me to get the fuck out. Guess I'll go, uh... Maybe he'll, maybe he'll be nicer now. Alright. Let's see. Do you know a man called Ryan? Yeah, he was a good friend. We were army mates. Was a good friend? Ryan died in the graveyard behind the church 17 years ago. He was moited. Not a single person held a grudge against Ryan. Then why was he... What? Then why was he killed? We still don't know what happened. If you don't... Mm. If you don't know what happened at the murder scene, then you can't say that no one held a grudge against them. That's obvious contradictory. The village wasn't deserted then. Did you call the police? The Samhain night incident? Others died too, but no one wanted to dig deeper. Times like that, people just pass it off as work of the hag. The hag? Who was a goddess from Celtic mythology? The old witch who appears in fairy tales. Huh. Yeah, it's the work of supernatural beings, so don't delve too deeply, they say. Wait, 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 so a murder happens, and you guys know it's a murder, but instead of calling the police, you said, It's the work of the fucking, the monsters, they did it. And then you just buried the body, and no one ever talked about it? Okay, fucking deadly premonition. Okay, Twin Peaks. Alright, whatever. Ryan lived in the hut on the lighthouse, Kate. If you search that place, I bet you'll find something. Seventeen years have gone by. I think something is starting to stir again. Oh, you think? We'll give it away. The fact that people are dying again? Yeah, fucking... I, it's a fucking place full of geniuses. Listen, he was murdered, but I, I'm telling you, nobody held a grudge against him. That makes no sense. <laughs> What's this? Acquired torn photo, left half. I wonder why this was worth keeping. A picture of a child. Okay. <laughs> the village collectively shares a single brain cell. Yeah, I guess. Maybe that's why no one's in the bar ever. They're like, listen, we only have one left. So this, I'm just going to fast forward this because I've seen it already with uh, Ellen's, on Ellen's side. They talked about it. He's like, hey, I got this photo. You got this photo. Here you go. <clears throat> oh, there's that Harry Potter ass music. I love it. It's great. Here, you can have the photo. Thanks. It'll really help. Alright, now that Ella has the photo, I wonder what she'll do next. Wait in my room for the night? Yeah, sure, why not? I got nothing else to do. God. I can't... I can't wait for the day when I'm finally, like, ready to record a Dangarampa V3. Because I'm just gonna be 
on it 100%. I'm going to be like, how do you not know this happened? This happened because this happened and that happened and this person died because of this. Man, it's crazy. I'm going to be solving the case before the case even starts. Now that she's got the photo, I wonder where she'll go. If she has the same experience as I... Wait, what? If she's having the same experience as I am, though the answer is simple. Okay. I mean, I do the same thing in uh, Phoenix Wright. I'm like, this happened because this happened, and this happened, and that'll make no sense. This contradicts this. <laughs> I love mystery shit. It's great. Alright, maybe I can find something out at the pub. Alright. Anyone got anything new for me? Let's see. The Netherworld was born when humans found intelligence and became conscious of death. Man, that's some deep shit. It has grown since that time, absorbing thoughts of death. That's some deep shit. Charlie says he can hear the voices of the dead. Well, he's a skeleton. That's hard for me to believe. Help him, would you? I try to help him. I can't. He's a skeleton. Come on, Master Splinter. What's up? Don't you ever get confused about which is a dream and which is reality? No, not really. We have lights do too. You wonder which the real world and which is another world. The fuck is that supposed to mean? A thug's turned up in the pub. Do something about it. Why did he come here anyways? How should I know? Am I the thug? I'm not a thug. I'm wearing glasses. How am I a thug? Have a conversation. Everyone has their troubles. The half lies come at night. Humans bring their troubles to the pub during the day, yeah? Please drop in now and again. No. People at bars bring their trouble at fucking 1 to 3 at night. It sucks. <laughs> You're like, come on, man. Go fucking go home. I get that we stay open till 3 o'clock, but come on, man. Just leave. I got, <laughs> I got a dog to take care of. Alright, well, I guess I'll head to the hinge then. Oh, hey, Ellen. How you doing? Keats. Oh, wait. Oh, this is the same. Yeah, okay. So this is the same uh, cutscene I had with her earlier. There's really no reason to, to watch it. And this is when they get sucked into hell. What dogs do I have? I have... At this current moment, I have two dogs. Uh, earlier this year, there were... I like fucking... Four dogs. Me, I have two dogs. Uh, my sister has one. And then earlier this year, my brother had a... He brought, like, his dog over. Alright, so I had to take care of her. The two dogs I got are Chihuahua mixes. Um, I breed it though. I love them. And I also I had a third one, but I give it to my cousin, right? He's a uh, he's uh, one of my dog's son, right? But that's the dogs I have now. Like I have a I have a long history of like breeding and taking care of animals, mostly uh. Uh, the dogs that I dealt with the most are uh, pit bulls. The first dog I had was a Siberian Husky. And everyone was terrified of her. <laughs> and she was the most sweetest thing ever. All she wanted to do was play with people. And they're like, I'm not going in that thing, that's a wolf. I'm like, it's not a wolf, it's a Husky. Look at her, she's awesome. And then she would like kill things and bring it to me. She'll be like, look, look what I got for you. And I'm like, nah, you shouldn't be doing that. So what is this place? So the netherworld wasn't the land of the fairies. This place is, well, let's call it Warcadia. Pits are awesome. Pits are so great. They're big, dummy fucking meatheads, and I love them. Uh, the Netherworld was born out of human thoughts on death. A fairy realm of pleasure is how the ancients imagined the afterworld. And so Warcadia must be the contem uh, contemporary image of death, then. That makes sense. Where's Ryan inside another folklore? 
Not necessarily. But it's true that the dead who feel powerful emotions, such as rage, hatred, or sorrow, tend to get pulled inside folklores. I see. I have more questions, though. Are those other realms besides this? As many as there are stars, the fairy realm is only the beginning. This Warcadia is quite far removed from the real world. And the further away it is, the more, s the more strength necessary is to open the door to the world. And my strength is limited as it is. That's why you need the power of the folklores. You defeat, I don't even know how to say its name, Sinonaris? Sinoris, or whatever? In the fairy realm, and so... You mean that's why I was able to enter Warcadia? So two birds with one stone, more from my story, plus an occasional... plus, uh, plus an uh, occult experience to boot. But I don't chase murders, though. Yeah, huskies are fucking adorable. Next time, uh... Right now, I'm not... I'm not trying to breed these dogs, because... Because to me, I, I... I have, like, a weird fucking thought process. Where I'm like, I have my dogs, right? And, you know, people go like, neuter and spade your dogs, and it's like, I understand, right? You know, you do that if you want, but I find it kind of sad for them not to have any type of lineage, right? So, my dog had a... Uh, both of them had like two litters, right? So they're good, right? Their their children are off, and now it's up to them to do their things, right? Um, but the next dog that I want to get, I would like to get a Shiba Inu. I've never had a Shiba Inu. I would love to have a Shiba Inu. go. Alright, I want to change this out a little bit. Have this over here. Have you here. Have, have you here. <laughs> a shoop. <laughs> yeah. But uh, dogs aren't the only things I took care of. I took care of cats. I took care of... Uh, I had sugar gliders. Um, I took care of fucking- oh, this guy doesn't shoot, he does a bayonet attack. That's interesting. I had, um, I took care of turtles, right? I had a frog for a summer, took care of that. I had birds. What else did I have? I had a rabbit. And I'm trying to think what else I had, uh, like, right off the top of my head. Because the most that I had was, was dogs. Oh, there's some more guys over here. I think... Off the top of my head, I think that's it. Want to get a gecko or corn snakes? I... Geckos are cool. I, uh, I definitely knew someone who had a chameleon. Right? It's pretty cool. I've also hung out with people who had ferrets. I was one of the ferret as a kid, but I never got one. Right? And I'm not sure if I should get one now, right? Or anytime soon. Um, what else? When it comes to snakes, I, I'm not terrified of snakes or anything, because I've held snakes before, but I don't think I would take care of a snake, even though they're pretty low maintenance. Um, for some reason, I'm like... For some reason, it's like, can you... Are you allowed to, like, defang a snake? Ferrets are fucking cute. I love them. Like, are you allowed to defang a snake? Because if you defang a snake, wouldn't it have problem? Wouldn't it have like problems eating? Like, I don't, I don't like fucking, uh, for lack of a better word, like mutilating animals in any sense of the way. I would rather avoid that if I can. Right? You know, unless, unless they're like, uh. You know, unless they're like fucking rats or something where you have to chip their teeth because they constantly grow. Not rats. What? What is it? Like hamsters? I think rats' teeth constantly grow too, right? Like you have to clip their teeth because if you don't, they'll get all mangled and shit. Let's see. Don't know about that one. Non-venomous snakes don't have massive fangs anyways. Yeah, but it's just the... It's just the... It's just the, um, 
the threat of like a snake biting you, right? And I'm pretty sure snakes, snakes themselves, they're not like, well, at least uh, domesticated snakes. They're not like super aggressive, not from what I've seen or anything like that. But still, it's like a risk I'd rather not deal with because you get a, because I've never, um, i never been bit by a dog ever. Yeah, rats have infinite teeth growing <laughs> growers. Um, I never been bit by a dog ever. I have been scratched by cats, right? Whether it's whether it's like just by sheer accident or something fucking stupid happened. But um But like even if I were to get like scratched or bit by a dog or a cat, you know. Like if anything a thing like that would happen. Like I know dog bites can fuck you up, but like in order for things to escalate that far, you really gotta be fucking with a dog. Like, you really gotta be, like, pissing it off. Right? A dog's not just gonna attack you for no reason unless there's something wrong with it. Or unless its owner is just completely incompetent. Right? Because, uh, they're definitely, especially with pit bulls, there are a lot of people who have pit bulls and they're like, This is a perfect guard dog. But they don't te they teach it how to like attack sh like attack unwanted people, but they don't teach it how to approach strangers in a calmly manner, right? So that's where they fuck up with that, you know. Hold up, these guys are fucking starting to swarm me a bit. Let me deal with this guy, and then I'll I'll read it in a second because I can't. I don't want to get attacked by these guys. All right. Oh, my mouse is in the way. Shit. Uh, only probably by when they smell food. Otherwise, it's just tag in which they barely pierce the skin. Yeah. Yeah, it's never the dog. It's always the owner. Yeah, it's definitely uh the only time I would ever say it's the dog is if it's like. You know, if it's like a stray dog or fucking if there's something like wrong with it and, you know, the owner just never picked up that the dog may have rabies or some shit, right? Because... Because that is, that is stupidly possible. Right? Um... But yeah, fucking... Like... Had a had a Rottweiler, super friendly, but people were afraid because because he was a Rottweiler. Exactly, like a lot of people want Rottweilers. It's just that you have to you got to teach them like to be okay around strangers. Like I fucking like with all the dogs I have, it's just one of those things where they're like where like people would see it and they get scared of it and they'll be like, "No, nah, the dog's gonna bite me," and I'm like, "It's not gonna bite you, right? It's not gonna bite you." Because my dogs have like a stupid opposite problem where they're... There's that fucking noise again. I don't know what's causing it. I just heard that shit. It was loud as fuck in my ear. Um... But yeah. It's like my dogs have an opposite problem where they're too fucking friendly. To the point where I'm pretty sure if a fucking... If a burglar came in, they wouldn't give two shits. They'll be like, hey man, you wanna pet me? Like, the only dog I have that would just, like, bite random people, right? And by that, I mean, like, she won't bite unless, like, you get close to her and she's like, get the fuck away from me. Because she definitely, she growls. Like, you'll see her first stand up and she'll growl and fucking, she'll do it for a while before she even decides to snap at someone. But, you know, people don't get the fucking memo, hey, don't, don't touch the dog because she's losing it, <laughs> right? But she's like an older dog, and she wasn't my dog to begin with. She was my dumbass brother's dog. And fucking... When he gave her to me... Because I guess he just didn't want to take care of her no more. Because he's like, here, watch my dog. And then never came and took her back. So I'm like, guess it's my dog now. Fucking, um... <clears throat> when, uh, when she met me, she was like growling at me and shit. And I was like, oh no, we're not having that. We're not having that. So I sat there, I went up to her, and she snapped at me. I was like, that's expected, because I get it. You don't like strangers. 
But she snapped at me and I just grabbed her and I just held her and I was like, look, hi, how you doing? I'm not hurting you. And then she was like, I guess this is cool, maybe. And then for the longest time, I was the only person in the house that she liked. <laughs> and now people will like come over and then they'll be like, can I, like if she never seen the person before, they'll be like, can I pet the dog? And then other people will be like, people who've never taken care of the dog will be like, yeah, go ahead, pet the dog. And I'm like, no, don't do that. She will bite you. She doesn't know you. And you know, and then even though I say that, people will still fuck with the dog. And, I, and they're like, the dog bit me. And it's like, well, the dog bit you because I told you to get away from the dog. She doesn't like strangers. And she growled at you for like a good 10 minutes. Where the fuck? Where'd this guy go? Am I blind? Oh, he's right here. He's not even doing nothing. My man was hiding in the dark. Alright, I need fire for this thing. Where is it? This guy. Yeah. Yeah, but I love taking care of animals. And I love taking care of animals, but not enough to go vegan, right? Yeah, if a dog's growling, leave it alone until it's used to you. But me, I was like, this dog was forced upon me. So, if she bites me, don't get me wrong, it's my fault. I'm not gonna fucking... I'm not gonna like... You know, you're not supposed to force an animal to like you, right? But me, I was like, I was kind of forced in this situation, so I'm not gonna fucking have her cower in the cage all day and just growl like a madman, right? So I was like, listen... I'm just gonna pick you up. I grabbed her. She snapped at me. Not gonna lie, she did. Because she's all like, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going home. And it's like, nope, you're staying here. You were forced upon it. So I just grabbed her, and I just held her. And I was just looking at her. And I was like, are you okay now? Oh, shit. Yeah, I knew these guys were gonna attack me in the middle of that. And all it took was that one moment for that one day. I didn't have to continuously hold in her or nothing. It just took that one moment. She's like, okay, I'm cool now. And she's like, out of everyone in this house, you can hold me. So she had, she had like a real quick turnaround with that. But for everyone else, it takes her uh, time to get used to them. You. I don't want to kill this guy. All right? Come on. Let's see if I can do this fast enough before the other guys come in and hit me. Like that. That was clutch. That was the last second. Is that dog that hated everyone is now sitting on my bed, just sleeping. And she's chilling. And then I fucking watched her when she had her two litters, took care of her and her puppies. Which is, you know what's weird? <laughs> One of the most satisfying noises ever is like puppies when they're like suckling on their mother's nipples <laughs> and you just hear the little the little smacking sounds they make and you're like wow that's weird but for some reason it's oddly satisfying like somebody ASMR that shit quite a number of fairies have uh, been sent in infiltrating in other realms like this is no small matter Denizens of the fairy realm. Why are they coming here? <laughs> what? What's wrong with liking... Ain't nothing wrong with liking the sounds of, of puppy suckling, right? <laughs> it, it's... 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 <laughs> it's stupid. 
it's like uh it's like when it's like when you're making like um like macaroni salad or something like tuna salad and like you know you're mixing it with the spoon and then you get that like squishy sound and you're like oh what the fuck is that it's oddly satisfying uh immensely powerful beings sometimes control denizens of the netherworld the fairy lord is one of them actually it was he who invited ellen into the netherworld is that scarecrow his emissary what's so special about her one question at a time. Alright. What's so special about her? <clears throat> no, excuse me. I did not mean to burp. That just came out of nowhere. Uh, what's the relationship between Ellen and them? Denizens of the Netherworld cannot pass freely between the realms. It seems the Fairy Lord has cast some type of spell on Ellen. I put a spell on you. And now you're mine. I put a spell on you, and it was strong. <laughs> it opens up a path to the netherworld where Ellen is. I love Hocus Pocus. Oh my god, I got it on Blu-ray. I watched that shit. The fucking special effects in that movie, fucking poorly aged. God, it looks like shit. But the movie itself, that shit aged like fine wine. It's great. Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus is amazing. Kids nowadays will never know about that. Ellen is another world uh, tribute, trial blazer for all fairies, is she? All right. Then what's the fairy lord's goal? The fairy lord aims to change the another world. The fairy lord don't think the another world is how it should be. Surprisingly progressive for a realm created from ancient ideas. They're simply clinging to an old era, that is. Enough for now. Speak to the dead to solve your so-called conundrum. I was intending to. All right. It's a nice little save point here. Ma'am. There's a lot of things I got to watch for uh for October. Things that I have long long have like just not ignored but never had the time to watch. For example, the anime Shiki. I only watched the first episode of that. And I need to watch it. It's odd that the fairies are strolling around in Warcadia like they own the place. Alright. What about over here? What do you guys got to say? Ironically, fighting each other for so long has turned them into folks. We need to be careful. Alright. Helping you is not easy. Anything you'd like to know? Fairy doings, the ultimate shield and spear. The ultimate shield will appear before. Oh God! Will only be pure. Uh, bleh, 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 will only appear. I'm 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 fucking up the words. I do this thing, where I I fucking read the words faster than I can say them, and it fucks me up. The ultimate shield will appear only before the ultimate spear. Understand? Okay. Fairy's doings. On the fairy lord's order, fairies are are pouring again, including Bogle the fairy knight. Their aim is to protect Ellen. You'll need some luck, Keats. There's a machine, uh, there's a machine soldier, all ridiculously durable. They're extremely hard to handle. Deal with their armor first. Releasing karma part two. Certain conditions make the folks uh, you use stronger using items, for example. Okay. over here yeah but it's like shiki I have to watch uh, uh, fucking house on the hill like on Netflix I haven't watched that and apparently it's getting a new season this I'm not sure if the new season came out yet or if it's coming out in October but still gotta watch that I haven't watched that um what other horse shit I didn't watch Funny enough, I have It and It Part 2, both on fucking Blu-ray. Uh, on Blu-ray fucking, you know, 4K shit. And I haven't watched either of them. So, that's interesting. Uh-oh, move, move, Keats.
Actually, I have these guys and I haven't even used them yet. Square. You. 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 Alright. Oh, that's interesting. What about you? Oh, do I just hold it? Yikes. Come here, guys. One, two, three. Bombarder ID Exorb destroys shelling powerful explosives. Oh yeah. That's way better than the fire. It's way better than the flamethrower. I like it. It's nice and fast, too. Just watch out! Bam! God. He's too low. Can't hit him. There you go. That's way better. I like that. And you got single shots. These guys control way better than Ellen's. Alright, so... I guess over here, right? Fucking legs falling asleep again. Did that? Ow, shit. I ran straight into that. Did that damage it, or did that fucking... Okay, that damaged it. What about this? Nope. Guess I just gotta bomb it. That is not as far range as I thought. Oh, move. I can't see shit. God. Grab you. See what you guys got. Oh, okay. Not all that different. Might as well use it. Get some health back. It's almost like nothing happened. I'm feeling fine. back.
one bullet. That's great. Oh, what's up there? Is that the shield guy? Oh no, that's the that's the bomber guy. All right. So now that I got the spear, shield guy should appear. Yeah, no. Yeah, definitely not. Mm-hmm. Nope. Not dealing with that. Nope. Excuse me, guys. Just coming on through. I guess I gotta find the the shield. Or is this water? I don't have water. Ellen had water. Oof. Yikes. I gotta go look for a folklore. I'm missing one. Hmm. Maybe it's like all the way back. I came from that direction. I don't think I went this direction. All right. attack has been increased. Alright. There you go. Over here, you two. Motherfuckers take way too many hits. It's only like four, but still. Need to kill you guys faster. Alright, come on. Come on. Wait your turns. Go Super Saiyan on them? I can do that, but I want to save it for the tank. save everything I got for that tank because apparently it's more difficult to fight than the fucking boss. Oh, Workadia Picture Book number one. I keep pressing select for that. Uh, what? What the fuck is this? This teaches me nothing.
It just shows them running away. It doesn't show me nothing else. Let me see, can I? There you go. I want to shoot those up there. Maybe something important comes out of it. Nope. Alright. Oh, hello. I'm surprised the fucking shield guy didn't appear yet. Yeah, I think he's like the only one that I'm missing, besides the tank. They said I need the spear in order for the shield to appear, so where the fuck is the... Let me deal with this guy real quick. This guy's like trying to fucking shoot me while I'm not looking. Thanks. Where's your honor? Shit. Yeah, that was a that was a stupid mistake I just made. There's too many little guys over here though. Me alone, little guy. Don't come this way. You're a piece of shit. Shit, I didn't even see you. Did he just spawn in? Or was he always there? Alright. Where does this lead? Alright, so this is where I came from. Maybe there's another pathway over here that I just didn't notice. Was it a split pathway? I'm just gonna ignore you. The pathway here, which is, I think that's where I came from, right? This leads to the tank. Here you are. I was looking for you. Those guys, I can go take on that tank. Ooh, page four. Let's see. Bomb it. Just bomb it. Alright. That's cool. God. I'll be honest. I'm gonna try and hold it in. I gotta use the bathroom again. Fuck. I know I should have drunk that fucking hot chocolate before I streamed. I'll be right back.
Alright. Just like fucking The Flash. I'm back. This is why I try not to eat or drink anything before stream. So I don't have to fucking do this shit. Or before recording in period. In period? The fuck do I meant? In general. Why the fuck did I say in period? Palm the shit out of it. Yeah, definitely. I guess I'll just bomb it again and fucking hit it with the spear. Oh shit. I completely forgot about you. Alright. There we go. <coughs> Alright, so I'm gonna set shield to X because I feel comfortable with that. I'm gonna set you to that. And for triangle, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess flamethrower. I don't feel like it'll make a difference, but why not? Now I'm gonna go run, grab my health back. Right, hold up. Oh, I thought that was like a different type of dude right there. I'm gonna go grab my health, right? Save it. And then I'm gonna go attack the shit out of that tank. Now that I'm done with my preparations, I'm gonna go fuck the shit out of that tank. I'm gonna give him the old hoorah. I thought I got hit by that. I would've been so angry. I would've been like, come on, I just healed. Like it's Overwatch. Come on, I just got revived. What the fuck? All right, buddy. It's time for you to meet your maker. shit out of this thing. Oh, come on. Don't attack me. Come on. That's cheat. That was a cheat shot. And you know it. Already. Damn, Ellen. You just made life difficult for me. I need healing. Speaking about I need healing... Fucking <clears throat> Overwatch came out. Genji was the best. Now he's not. But I still play Genji, right? And I never use I Need Healing, because guess what? I'm not an idiot and I can go pick up a health pack. I don't need the healer. <laughs> That's a lie, I do need my healer, but still, I don't cry about it. If I'm playing DPS and I don't see that healer healing the tank and they're chasing me to heal me, I'm I'm just be like, wow, don't do that. Don't do that unless unless the tank is a okay. The folklore of the fortress is right in front of you, man. That tank got fucked up. Foolish fairies, <laughs> foolish fairies. They're en route to the fortress with Ellen now. Their little army is all flesh and no substance. They'll never defeat the folklore. Ellen and I came to Arcadia at the same time, so why didn't we meet each other? Human concepts of time and space mean nothing in the netherworld. The dimensions you perceive here are purely subjective. Ellen's cloak has also given you power. So like it or not, there's a bond between you and Ellen. Hey man, Ellen's like... I did the math, she's like what, 22? So it's fine, right? 
I don't know how old Keats is. I assume he's in like his early 30s or late 20s. But Ellen was like 5, 17 years ago. So what is that, like 22? Right off the top of my head. You're likely to meet up with her in the netherworld. It's not creepy. So, you're the famous Keats. I heard thing. Wait, what? I hardly think someone like you could defeat Ellen. Defeat Ellen? Why would I defeat Ellen? It is 22? Hey, quick math. I wonder why Levain contacted you. Levain has other supporters, but she never lets anyone accompany her except Bel. Uh, fuck. Belgi. Belge. I don't, I don't know. Some of these names are wacko. What would you like to talk about? Ruler of Arcadia, Folklore, and the Dead, Role of the Messenger. Even Netherworld denizens have their troubles. That's why they ask for help from messengers who travel Netherworld freely. Alright. The spirits of the dead become hidden when the folklore appears. Defeat the folklore and you can meet the dead once you speak. Okay. Alright everybody, get the fuck out of my way. Ow! <laughs> get out of my way, instantly get stabbed. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, shit. You guys suck and I hate you. Alright, let me get the hell out of the fucking bottleneck ass passageway. So I don't die instantaneously. Take the soul. Take the soul, Keats. Don't take your sweet time doing that shit. that one. That's okay. You should be dead now, right? Nope. Rank up. Damn right. Um. Okay. I guess, I guess the bomb doesn't count as fire. You guys are assholes. keep moving the camera around too much. Like, both too much and not enough. Oh, you couldn't grab the other one, Keats? Really? That didn't count? What? Bullshit. I'm in the wrong way. Shit. God, there's so many of you. Ow. 
Ah, oh, shit. I didn't even see you. Damn it. Shit. Don't aim at that one, Keats. God, I wish I can fucking hit these guys with anything besides the bomb. It just takes too long. Ah, oh, shit. You guys are fucking me up. I'm getting stabbed up. Yeah, I fucking know. Like, Ellen had a lot of fucking area of effect moves, right? And a lot of distant moves, so she didn't have to get too close. But Keats is the opposite. He has to get close. I dodged the gunfire just to fucking run straight into it. Oh, come on. I attach to the soul. You know what? I do have an area of effect attack, but... The reason I won't use it is because fucking the armored motherfuckers are immune to it. Alright, hopefully this heals me all the way back up. It's not even health. Come on. Thank you. Oh, not all the way, but close. Oh, that's the fire guy. <coughs> uh Bro, what is going on with that chat right now? Uh what the fuck? <laughs> like I see that from time to time, but not like that. Wow. Ooh, he's trying. <laughs> God damn. What? I just had like a moment. I totally forgot what I was even doing. The fucking the chat confused the shit out of me for a moment. <laughs> that's uh, that's nasty. That's real nasty. What the hell just happened in that chat? That was gross. That shit is unclean. <laughs> oh, now I remember what I was doing. I was trying to look at the fucking picture book. Give me a second, boss. Let me look at this book. I gotta finish the final chapter. Alright, let's see. Alright, it's... Alright, it's pretty much the same thing. Just with, uh... Send the little guys with the bayonets at the, at the legs. Really? Not, not the artillery? Alright, hold up. Alright, so... Wait, wait, wait. Fire guy for the gas tank. Bomb guy for the armored legs, for the unarmored legs, and the little guys, and fucking pierce it in the eye. What's with the random commercial raid? I don't fucking know. That's nasty. That shit was, that was gross. The most unclean thing I've seen in a while. Alright, so I don't use the fucking tank whatsoever in this fight, I guess. Um fire, right, and then I need to use these guys? It said use the guys with the bayonets, so. Damn it! <laughs> I pressed circle to back out. There you go. 
Alright. So. Uh oh. So that's done, right? And now for the legs. Oh, missiles. Okay, that's one pair. One pair. A pair of a pair of singular. Now that's one pair. Fire bad. Stay away from that. Super Saiyan again. I want to do that once he, uh... Once he fucking hits his, um... Once I get him down and, like... And his fuck me light is showing. Like his mouth is open and he's like, Oh, just put it in me. Ow! Alright. Alright. Now. His legs were immune to it. But that did some stuff, right? And now I'm trapped. <laughs> Is he on the ground? Oh, he was on the ground. Shit. Oh, move! Damn it. go. Come on. Oh, this is the timing one. I don't have to smack it around. Oh, it changes. I like this one better. It's faster. There we go. Damn, Keats. Made short work of that. He just fucked this level. Ellen took like a go wild to get through it. <laughs> Man, I just made that level my bitch. That makes two. Fairy losses are mounting. They should have left. They should have left it to Ellen. You look gloom. Such a waste fighting a battle that cannot be won. A bit sympathetic of the enemy, are we? Just like ancient man as I know him. And how would you know? I know, as I know the ancient netherworld. I don't know who the hell you are. If you want to know, then work with me. But the scale of this is beyond me. Perhaps we can stop the generosity. Is that not who you seek? Is that Ryan? Hey Ryan, I've been looking all over for you, buddy. You owe me like $20. 
Your life's ha uh, fuck. I had a I had a goddamn stroke. You're a lighthouse keeper, Ryan, aren't you? <clears throat> Who are you? I'm investigating the incident 17 years ago. I don't want to talk about it. You and the whole entire fucking village, apparently. You remember a woman called Regine, don't you? What exactly did you tell her? Her husband and child died mysteriously 17 years ago, and she was killed recently, too. Such tragedy in the family. They at least deserve to have the truth revealed. Yes. It was the night of the Shemin. Harriet and I went to the church graveyard. The lighthouse were on in the church. Wait, what? The, the lighthouse. I added the word house to it. The lights were on in the church for some reason. That seemed odd, so we looked in. We saw Harvey lying in bed and Dr. Lester looking extremely upset. Okay. The photo was of that. Yes. Harriet took it with my camera. Alright, then why the fuck didn't you answer this to goddamn Ellen? After that, she often com uh, commented on the picture. Oh, it was horrible, she said. I didn't see anything especially unpleasing about the photo. Unpleasing. Unpleasant. It was horrible for Harriet. Let me ask you then, what did you tell Harvey's parents? I told them why Harvey had died. That was a few days after the photo was taken. Harvey was so happy the day before, he said that uh, he said he and his father, Ronaldo, were going to the lighthouse. So I told Ronaldo and his wife exactly what Harry had told me. They turned ashen and left. After that, I don't know. Well, after that, Ronaldo fell over the cliff and died. What in the hell did Harriet tell you anyways? And what happened to you personally? I tell you more, but I have a little time. Yeah, so does everyone else. On the verge of becoming a, a bug thingy, whatever the hell, I still don't know how to say that word. Yes, but before I do, I'd like to ask a favor. I just realized something. Could you please tell Dr. Lester that the fairy is back? What's that mean? And tell Harriet to forget the past and embrace life. Hmm? No, wait! What? I love how Keats was like, I'm disinterested in what you have to say. And he's all like, tell her to embrace life. And he's like, wait, no, come back. No, please, let go. No, I cannot. You're mistaken. Dr. Lester has a heart of gold. Oh, no. Did he just get his ass kicked by a lady in a wheelchair? That's awesome. Man, you got fucked up. I'm sorry, your precious photo. Don't worry, it was all my fault as well. Ryan, I have an idea for you. Children have always liked you, yes? I want you to get the truth out of her. You want me to ask her? Yes, I will. If it'll convince you. I don't know what you're after, but I don't want you to dishonor your family. You bring great dishonor to your family. Don't do it. <laughs> Thank you. They're like in fucking Ireland somewhere, and she's all like, don't bring dishonor to your family. Like, what? <laughs> like, excuse me? Alright. Well, that happened. I would like to see how many fucking save files I have by the end of this. And then I'll cry about it. All right, to Dooland. All right. Guess I gotta go talk to Harriet now. Well, I gotta talk to Lester too, right? He's in the church. Seems to be locked. <clears throat> I keep getting, like, fucking something in the back of my throat.
right, Harriet. Tell me your secrets. Tell me everything you know. Was it you who committed the murder? I wouldn't be surprised. You kicked his ass when he was alive. And you were in the fucking wheelchair. Pretty badass. Uh, hello, loading screen. Oh my god. Please don't tell me the game crashed. I'll, I'll start crying right now. I'll break down into fucking tears. I'll do it. Did the game just fucking soft crash? Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. No, no, no. No, don't do this to me. Damn it. Oh man. Okay. Alright, game. Fuck. It's a soft crash. That sucks. Oh man. Alright, well, shit. Look away. I'm not sure if this will fuck up the stream or not because when the PS3. When you like exit the fucking PS3 games, it. Yep, it does that. <laughs> it does the no signal. It cuts off the signal for a half moment. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I like Skullgirls. Don't judge me. <laughs> that's my bae. That's Valentine. <laughs> Twitch streamer exposed. What the fuck is that loading screen? I didn't see that before. Big titty anime girls? No. No. Listen. It's not because of that. Valentine is super badass. I cannot judge. Listen. Big titties. They fill your hands. But small chests, they fill your hearts. That's where it's at. Man, I created the fucking itty bitty titty committee. Alright, folklore, don't fucking crash on me this time. So close to the fucking ending of the chapter, and you're like, no, I don't think it's so. You're like, I don't think so. Nope. Can't have it. Can't do it. God, that reminds me. I had like Mafia 2, and like, there's part of the game where you gotta go look for Bruno. Some like doctor named Bruno or something like that. Cause uh what's his name got fucked up in like one of your heists and you gotta make sure he don't die. And whenever I would get there and like get into his house, it'll just go into the loading screen and it will never get past that. The game would just crash. And I'm just like, wow. Alright. Back to Doolin. Okay, let's try this again. You had that with Red Faction too? I never played Red Faction. Man. To this day, I still never beat Mafia 2. And I want to get the Definitive Edition, but I heard it's buggy as fuck. Mafia 2 is such a good game. Mafia 3 is fucking terrible. And I never played Mafia 1, that's why I'm kind of excited about the remake. There we go. Come on, loading screen. You can do it. But never 100 percent at it. Oh my god, please don't tell me the loading... No, don't do this. Yes! Woo! Yeah! I had a heart attack for a moment. I met Ryan in the netherworld. Oh, I thought... <laughs> it's like, and that was the cutscene. Like, what? Uh, what did you see at the church 17 years ago? Well, you yeah, had been poking around. What did you ask Ryan to do? Thought it was gonna break again? Me too, man. Like, the fight, when, when the loading icon doesn't move, I get stressed out. 
I'm not accusing you, I just want the truth. What did you say to Ellen? She is special. I just wanted to test my theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. <laughs> Get to the point. That girl, Ellen, she was in the village 17 years ago. What? It will all become clear very soon. And then cliffhanger. Damn. That's crazy. The game couldn't load that tiny ass fucking cutscene. Like, come on, it's not even, it's, they're not even moving. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, we got through both their chapters, right? It's like fucking, what is it? It's about to be 6.30 in like two minutes. <laughs> it couldn't take loading up Harriet's face. Yeah, I bet. It's probably the veil or some shit. The little, the little fucking frillies in her veil. Alright. But it's about to be 6.30. Alright. Man, I wish I didn't. I wish I had more time to stream. I really do. Because I can just, I can just play this shit all day if I wanted to. Um... Don't worry. And like, in about like two months or so, my fucking, my, sh my, uh, my schedule should be fully open if everything goes according to plan. Um, but until then, I do have to end the stream now because it is that time of day where all the noises around the neighborhood start to wake up, right? Fucking... So, yep, see, I can already hear it. Someone's, like, moving their bed around and shit. It's ridiculous. I don't, I don't get, I don't get how hard it is just to, like, to not sound like you're fucking trying to break a wall down. But, um, gotta end the stream here, sadly. And it's a perfect place to end off because we beat both their chapters today, right? Unlike last time where I had to end in the middle of fucking Keats's chapter. But, yeah. So, I want to, yeah, man, see you later, too, hopefully. Hopefully I can get, uh, you know, everyone else to come back. Because there was a period of time where, like, I had a good amount of people here, right? But everyone's busy nowadays. Um, but, yeah. I want to thank everybody who tuned into the stream, even the weird fucking the weird bots <laughs> that appeared in this stream <laughs> spamming that shit that's ridiculous that was nasty um yeah for everyone who came to the stream and checked it out i want to thank you all for watching you know it supports the stream it helps out right for people on youtube who are watching this or going to be watching this in the future you know thank you for taking the time to look at it that helps out in its own right right um yeah, next time, I want to say next time on the stream, we're going to stream more of this. I mean, what the hell am I going to do? That's the plan, right? So, same time, same place, tomorrow night. The stream schedule has been updated on the Twitch page. Um, fucking, I'm pretty sure the stream schedule is also on the YouTube page, but I'll, I'll check that and see if that's, uh, if that's good or not. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, if you're watching this in the morning... Make sure you get ready for the long day ahead, right? And if someone tries to get up in your face, you just you just be the better person and you just walk away. You just go like, man, I ain't got time for this shit. Fuck you. And then you just fucking walk away and you're like, listen, I ain't got to worry about it. Ain't a thing but a chicken wang. You know what I mean? If it's the evening, try and do what I did, right? Fucking I sat down earlier today. I had like a big ass cup of fucking hot chocolate, right? Belgian hot chocolate. It was delicious. Loved it. And I had like some graham crackers and some marshmallows. It was like the most ghettoest way to eat s'mores ever. Right? And if it's dead late of night for you, well, I don't know what to tell you, honestly. Fucking, I'm in the same situation. We're all lost in this world. I don't know what's going on. What will tomorrow bring? I don't know. 
I'm just doing what I can do, doing my dues, you know? So, with all that said, and all my tomfoolery, once again, I want to thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, take care of yourselves. And, yeah, that's it. Everyone take care.